Good evening. Welcome back to another episode of Icebound. While you are enjoying the comments that I'm about to read from the previous episode of Icebound, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell so you never miss an episode. So without further ado, some comments from Icebound episode 15? Yeah, because I haven't gotten 16 up yet. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, my experience of watching the session was just yelling, he can't keep getting away with this! Every time Derek opened his mouth. <laughs> Who are they? I want to send them a that's thank pretty, you yeah, that's Go find them on YouTube. Quote yeah. within a quote. You made Scrim give a shit. I love that quote, and I'm gonna use this one for my overly relaxed characters. <laughs> Two hours, 14 minutes, and 35 seconds, Derek and Mike both drink at the exact same time. Wow. It's no, it's weird. It's spooky. It's really it's, bizarre. It's not even like one of those things where Derek and I were like, that's funny. Yeah, 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 it's just, that's funny. It's literally just perfectly insane. It's like Matrix style. <laughs> it's uh, bizarre. It's no, because like that frame was... for frame, it's like literally they oh follow, my God. they drink, and this they put proof, it down. This is proof that we are not real. We're a simulation. Yeah, we're a simulation. <clears throat> Go to YouTube and follow the timestamp to see it. And then lastly, Mace should be a professional laugher, LOL. <laughs> he basically is. Yeah. So, <laughs> Nick and Knight, he's the star of our live studio <laughs> audience. <laughs> we don't, we don't start show band. <laughs> That's all we're missing. So, Leave a comment and maybe you'll be included next time. In, I'm just gonna redo that one so he can like fix it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. fix it in post. Yeah, that's what we have. Please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment. I already mentioned, all that. I already mentioned Please all that. check out our Patreon and also please check out our merch store. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, Thank you so much for your generosity. Thanks for tuning in. We are Legends of Avantress. This is Icebound. Lend us your strength and join us. Mm. Before we enter tonight's session proper, uh, I would ask each of you, what are, what are we what are we doing? Well, where are we? What's been happening uh, over the last week or so? Uh, now's the time to check in and talk a little bit about your time in Ogerton since you were initially uh, captive uh, to Manius Bliginius and uh, uh, your your experiences here. Before we move forward. Let's think backwards, and I'd ask for a, a recap. Anyone can go first. Jump, right, jump on in. How far back are we talking? Uh, up to the moment you woke up in Ogerton. We in char are we sending character thing. No, 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 no. This is this is a check-in. This is a bottle episode, Mister Yornir. <laughs> <laughs> are we in? Are we in a bottle? Maybe a library, perhaps. Like a, like a little ship in a bottle situation, like in, in a mind, like it's more of a metaphor. Oh. You remember waking up? You do it. You did it so well last time. I remember waking up in Ogerton 
and I remember being uh, feeling the warm-ish breeze uh, mm-hmm. in open air mm-hmm. compared to the rest of the car. Uh, I remember meeting ogres and learning that it's a civilization of ogres, uh, clearly inspired by ancient Rome, um, in a valley of sorts next to a large kind of uh, chasm or crevasse, you could say. Um, they even we, got the Chad newsreader. Yeah, they do. The guy Rome. that does this yeah. from the hit television show <laughs> yeah. that lasted two seasons. Uh and um, we learned that we're vassals uh, supporting a family of noble ogres, the head of the house of uh, uh, we education. Were, knowledge. We were knowledge. knowledge. Yes. Um, and Scrim had been separated from us as had been Daisy. And we started to uncover a mystery where we had these gems uh, sealed against our throats. We learned that there were human vassals that Truly had outrageous. the same things. They lacked the ability to speak, but we knew that it was hiding a uh, <clears throat> sort of a, an asterisk shaped scar uh, on their throats. We also knew this is where Daisy was from. And they right. We learned that this is and where, Mylan, and, the first uh, mate of Mylan, the Morabound. the first mate of the Morabound, Daisy and Honey, and honey had all rip. Uh, rip. been born and raised. We pour one out. And um, we learned that we were being watched, that we were being watched in our dreams. We felt pains in the back of our necks. We dreamt about various libraries. Um, And we learned that everything here was more intelligent than you would expect. Ogres, cows, mice... Uh, scrim. Had to remind me of the cat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Toots, I'm a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. Um, he is just the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drunk out to die, Sean? Uh, we pretended to be ogre deities uh, from Ogre Heaven. We learned that they believed that uh, this was really all that existed and that outside of the city was the madness. And it was sort of like the chaos wastes from Warhammer, the old world. Um, nice call. Yeah. yeah nice. And, Very uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Chaos wastes. <laughs> cool, 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 cool thing. Jot that down. And that yeah, they believed like, that we oh, came oh, from the madness and can still somehow speak. So they almost believed that we were ogre uh, we use this to gain some freedom and begin to, to participate in trials. We overcame the trial of might or soldier? Combat, war, Combat. military. 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 Uh, in the arena, we uh, scrim gave someone bonitis. Oh, I was going to uh, say that. Uh, osteoporosis! <laughs> as Mr. Bones. Um, and we didn't get to perform a play. We didn't get to perform a play, but that night we... Uh, I have all the seven great voyages. We traveled through the sewers, which we knew that the vassals had been using to deliver messages from house to house. Um, we went all the way down to the base of the city and we discovered that there was an invisible bridge that led to a mm. mysterious door across the way that we could not get into. Uh, Yornir meditated and uh, projected his spirit from his body into a large cavern behind the waterfall like in every Zelda video game and uh, saw that there was a gigantic uh, crashed uh, or maybe not crashed but some sort of structure uh, made from a chitinous shell-like material behind the waterfall right as he was accosted by horrible ghosts of long dead ogres. And so we had learned that there was something more mysterious at play. Uh, we went to go do the trial of the arts and put on a play, and Derek juked us. Oh, can I pause you? Yeah. It was, you really kind of glazed over the giant pool of ogre ghosts. No, I, I mean, explain the, the, the ghosts. Where Yornir literally got Return of the King if he wasn't the, uh, the, the heir <laughs> of Elendil. If he wasn't the chosen one. <laughs> and he wasn't yeah. the heir of Elendil. A yeah. tsunami of ogre ghosts. Yeah. A uh, huge number of them. It was many. Um... I feel like downplaying the ogre pool of ghosts. I said a single word from the script when an ogre ran in and interrupted us. Great Sophilith. And we witnessed the lottery, everyone's favorite uh, novel from middle school. Thank you, thank you, thank you. uh, It was confirmed to us that the lottery was actually, you weren't going to ogre heaven, your brain was getting schlooped five or six times. 
by five mind flayers. Unimaginable torture and pain. Yeah. Um, over and over. And these five mind flayers were using various psionic orbs. We know that uh, scions, as Frost has shown, like to ponder orbs. Oh. Uh, mm. and so the giant psionic orb at the front of the <laughs> ship kept us in stasis as we watched it all happen. They threatened us. Um, Yikes. We learned that the ogres, uh, that this was sort of a curse, so to speak, on the ogres, because uh, when we had sort of returned and it had been coming to a head, Minerva, the young ogre daughter of Manius, uh, used, removed curse on the young son of Plaginius. Uh, no, it was uh, the uh, yes, Augustus. Of Gork Gork Augustus. 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 Exactly right. Uh, Gork Gork T Gork Tito went mad. Tito. Right. Uh, Tito. As the removed curse uh, seemed to uh, 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 clear, his his mind, clear his mind of yeah. whatever cyanic barriers had been put in place there. Almost returning him to nature, to turning, returning to him to his natural ogre-like state, he went mad and the based ogres that were sort of like our you know foster parents, like they killed the, <laughs> the, the bad ogres. Um, so we think. So we think. <laughs> Uh, and we convinced them, like, hey, there's something at foot, and they actually believed us. So we... The, that was shocking. The entire house packed up and got the fuck out to the edge of town. We supplied up. Um, and where we last left our heroes, we had said our goodbyes to Daisy. That's right. She They're on the outskirts us. of Ogreton. They're on the outskirts of Ogreton. When they look back, all they see is an empty valley. They're beyond the illusory bubble, however yes. that's formed. We have now returned back through the town, into the sewers, across the imaginary bridge, into the cavern, and through the door. Through the threshold. And across up, the threshold. Across the threshold, and then up the... Uh, Millennium Falcon uh, hangar bay do uh, hold door or walkway, whatever, uh, into the Nautiloid ship. I was getting more of uh, what was the cool name of that ship from Halo One? Like a really cool name. Pillar of Autumn. Yeah. What a badass Whoa. fucking. That's like the coolest that name right? of any. Yeah, it's yeah. Pillar of Autumn. Yeah. Uh, it remind cool. me of the Pillar of Autumn. I think that is a phenomenal. Well done, Rash. That's why we have uh, you yeah. do it. Thank well you. Done. Yeah. Thank uh, you. That was so good, and you had so little support during that from the rest of the gang. I'm actually going to give you an inspiration. Oh, oh my god! I need it. You fucking need it. Okay, I want to go on record saying that it wasn't a lack of support. I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> I know. I, know. Had, I also oh, want to call yeah. out that he did not go around and, in uh, pro wrestling fashion, introduce all of the yogurt gods and goddess. Disappointed. Very intentionally. I'm gonna I'm, get you because yeah. I'm Mr. Bones. <laughs> oh, you should have drank your milk. The cream that rises to the top. The cream rises to the two, top. Two final things. Um, put yourself in the order left to right as you walk up that you want your minis uh, as we have a map. I would be at the lead unless Yorni or told me not to do so. I'm behind Barnabas. Where I think we danger. would have been side by side. Yeah, oh, right. I'm it. just saying who's who's. Well, I'm next one, to Barnabas because he's the five. scariest. Well, no, you're, you're usually behind Barnabas. There's I'll Barnabas be next. I'll here. be next. And be finally, uh, you guys were able to pass through Ogre Tin uh, un, um, uh, seemingly uh, undetected. And you guys were able to make your way. There weren't, weren't any sentries. You you were able to give some help to a few of the vassals, specifically to Myelin, uh, uh, releasing them from their bonds and uh, telling them to get the fuck out. So but uh, after uh, before you did all of that, you made it to this to the space where you are now without spending any resources. So don't forget that you had a long rest. If you haven't taken a long rest mechanically, oh. make sure that your battery is full before we continue because we're well, I entering a dungeon. I don't think I did. I, think, I didn't either. I thank you. Think, thank you, Benevolent. I down. knew that because oh, I, I checked your character. Sheep, which is why I oh, I didn't. I, two rages okay. are checked off. Thank you, Dungeon. But I would have shit my pants if I had to go in a dungeon with only two rages. And now let's begin the session proper. The exterior is massive, ominous, and resembles a giant coiled shell. Its surface is slick, black chitin that shifts and changes in the dim light. No visible seams or joints suggest it was constructed from separate pieces. The ship appears to be one single seamless entity. The hulking silhouette looms, shrouded in mists from the cascading curtain of water that hides the cave in which it is docked. Even above the loud sound of echoing, rushing water, the ship hums and rumbles 
like the sound of an otherworldly sleeping dragon. The rear of the ship towers more than 60 feet tall, a tremendous aft section that resembles the coiling shell of a mollusk. At its center, a circular barred window, shadowed and dark, can be seen. Two mammoth translucent fins jut out from the vessel's stern, reminiscent of a whale's flippers. From the face of this alien structure extends a long, sleek deck, making the ship a full 200 feet long, not including the tangle of tentacles that reach out from the hull. They hug the surface like dormant pythons, motionless. It is here at the bow, at the very mouth of this vessel, that honey-yellow light pours out from an opening, a ramp, perhaps for boarding or loading, that leads inside. This craft exudes malevolent power. Its existence seems to challenge the laws of nature. And you, all five of you, can almost feel the unknowable intelligence that pulses within as you ascend the ramp within and take your first ginger steps onto the lowest deck of an illithid, colossus-class nautiloid. What happens next is up to you. He said the blank class is the coolest sci-fi trope in the world. <laughs> <laughs> we are... So we're walking up the... Sh- so we came in and it's pointed towards us. That's right. Uh, the, 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 the bow That's right. You were able to work your us. way around right. the perimeter of the ship and you are now... Uh, your feet, I would say, are actually on the upcline, uh, incline, starting to make your way in uh, just as you start to crest up uh, into whatever this lowest floor of the ship appears to be. Hey, Mr. Yornier. Yes? I know I tend to be mad. Is this thing more ship or more beast? I cannot tell the difference. This is no ship. This is an aberration. I want to listen to see if I can hear anything coming from inside. You all feel your near stop and lean in. Make a perception check. Natural 20. Oh, I, see, I said I was going to wait. I said I was going to wait. Oh, Let's fucking go. That might be very important. 28. Let's go. 28. Yeah, fucking huge. You sort out the noise of the waterfall and put it aside. You hear the humming and rumbling, this almost uh, purring that's coming from the ship itself seems almost to vibrate with this sound. You put it aside. You listen even more deeply. (sighs) Not faintly. Louder than you heard it when you were in spirit form. Louder even than uh, you've heard it as you've approached this ship. Uh, From the mouth of this nautiloid, you hear this chorus the sound of many voices all crying out and it is beautiful it is sweet and soft and sad it doesn't sound like it's coming from immediately in front of you it sounds somewhere deep deep within but still it penetrates the air once you've put those other sounds aside so it's melodic are there any words to it, or is it just sort of like, ah. It's the second, the latter. It's the Halo theme is playing on repeat. Okay. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. That, 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 yeah. That's actually, totes, yeah. totes Halo. We're on the Pillar of Autumn, the flood's going to show up. <laughs> it's um, I'm, That was in the library. Uh, and uh, to, to, to that point, it doesn't sound like, um, uh, not just language, but it sounds like a chorus of uh, a, a group of people, a group of creatures. Do you hear it? And pointing it out when you hear Yornir sort of lean forward and and uh, tune himself in this way, yeah, there's something on on the air in the air. There's a there's this faint cry. The unnatural choir. Do you hear it? What the hell is that? It is what I heard when I projected my spirit into this place. 
It's eerie, but strangely beautiful. Beautiful and evil. Like a cathedral of the most evil dead harpies and sirens calling us to a watery grave dashed upon the rocks. But we have no choice. This is our fate. We must continue. Are you all ready? What, what, what do you think? I'll nod. Oi. You're right. Of course, we're all ready. I'll take, I'll reach into my, uh, my large bag of salt, throw it over my shoulder, and spin through, it's been around three times. I'll, uh, will have tapped the seabird on my chest, and I'll put my, uh, hand on Scrim's, uh, shoulder, and I'll say, oh, Mr. Stabiscoach, are you really afraid of an overgrown oyster? Ah, I'm Barnabas. I didn't sign up for this. Oi. A sea voyage. A sea voyage on a boat. And we're, look at where we are now. Oi, well, there are some whale fins, and that looks like a nautilus shell. Uh, so it's a little bit of a taste of the sea. And you may not have signed up for this, Mr. Stabiscotch, and we may have no idea what awaits us. But there's one certainty that I've lived my entire life by. I have not met a single mollusk that didn't taste great with ancient estuary. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll hold out my hands, and in a flash, the, br the brutal blade will be there with a flash of smoke and, and, and the smell of, of some brimstone in the air. If we're going to do this, then let's get it over with. And if I don't make it out of here, there better be nothing left for them to come collect. Oi, there's a lad. Into the jaws we go, into the abyss. I like old times. We'll break the shackles. And before you cross the threshold, Taishan, how are you feeling as you are standing in what is effectively robes with what limited magical abilities you have to <laughs> confront this strange sight in front of you? Well, is it, this is the ship seem it would seem defunct oh uh or would we even have a sense that it would operate in any way other than as it is it without having to roll to whether or not it is something that can be on the water or in the air it is on the surface of the cave it does appear to be landed there or perhaps have, have have gotten wedged there. That would have been plainly apparent as you circled it to make your way to this entrance. We've once again come across we've encountered something that we can't possibly understand. We don't fully know yet what's going on here. We we have to confront them. We can't allow what's happening to continue, but they may be just like us. They may be trying to survive. In this manner, why? Why would they be here? Now, of all places, this is... They did not... They were not born here. They did not grow here. And if they are using these sentient beings to sustain themselves, it is wholly unnatural. Just like all of the visions that I have seen, it is the wholly unnatural that is a blight upon this land. We are here to put an end to it. And even if they are trying to survive, what a cowardly existence. Putting up a pen, 
clamping on shackles. If they were truly lost and wish to survive, they should hunt like the rest of us. Fish like the rest of us. Survive like the rest of us. Take their freedom in a fair fight. Is the spider evil for it keeps the fly? This land has demanded everything. Blood and strength. These aren't fucking spiders! (laughs) They're horrific, octopus-faced, brain-eating monsters! I'm not saying that I approve of what they're doing here, but maybe there's a different way. I don't... Obviously, they consume creatures. They consume the mind. Maybe we can convince them, we can show them another way. Queenie, as you're listening to your companions, your allies talk, how are you feeling? Well, I understand what you're saying, saying, Tashi. But I don't think there's talking to creatures like this. They've threatened us. They know what's in our minds. They know how we feel. There's nothing that we could say to them that they haven't already heard us think. And they don't care. But to your point, Scrum, living here the way things have been, that's a fate worse than death. Aye. So marching into this place, whether we live or die or not, it's still a better outcome than staying. And honestly, we've been through so much. Like, look, I'm a rabbit straight out of the mountains, and I've been traveling through a horrifying frozen wasteland, and I'm still alive. You're a thief, and and you're still alive. A little more finesse than just stealing, but that's fine. <laughs> I believe he identifies as a con man. Thank you, sure. Taishen. Thank you. Of course. Sure. You're a con man, and you're still alive. The only one of us that's truly fit for this place is Yornir. And as strong as he is, he couldn't keep us all alive if we weren't capable of it ourselves. So if anyone's going to go in and fight these things, if anyone's going to go in and save these people from the hold they've got on them, who better to do it than us? And to be quite honest, the only way we're going to do it is if we believe. And I'd rather go down in a blaze of glory with hope in my heart than to give up right now and just walk into my death. I believe in you, Scrum. I believe in all of you. Oh, boy. Even without all of our stuff. It'll be harder, but... To be honest, when we're done with it, we'll be really proud. Like, hey, I did that, and I didn't even have my flower pot on me. Well, or we could be dead, so... Yeah, but that's still better than where we're at right now, and we still wouldn't have our stuff, so... (laughs) Yeah. Mm, Dead is better than living life as cattle. I'd rather be dead than in a cage. With that, you look into that same entrance. You've not walked but five, six feet before stopping and reassessing. You have comforted each other and discussed something, not of a plan, but a posture towards what may come. And it's somewhat comforting. Certainly it's more comforting than the robes you still wear without your things without your items, without those things that were you were able to rely upon, those tools, those instruments, those items that you'd had before, and you walk forward. You step into the corridor, lit by steady bioluminescent orbs mounted along the walls and embedded in the floors, shedding sickly yellow light. The walls, floor, and ceiling are all formed from a strange mixture of organic matter and magic-forged iron-like metal, creating a sturdy environment. When you reach the top of the gangway and the floor levels beneath your feet, you are confronted by three rows that stretch 40 or 50 feet down the corridor under a dark high ceiling, nearly 20 feet up. Each of these rows contains tall, strange, pod-like containers at regular intervals. There appear to be more than a dozen in all. (laughs) 
between this array of pods, you see what can only be supplies and equipment. Stacks of har- harvested chitin, metal reinforcements, machinery, boxes and containers and chests. Everything has been carefully organized and stored to maximize efficiency in space. The lack of embellishments and if- efficient use of space suggests that these creatures place function above all else. And as you survey the room, you sense that this may be where the Mind Flayers keep what they need to survive. Storage. Pods. Why do they have to be pods? (laughs) Oh, yes, always pods, Mr. Yornir. What do you mean, what's wrong with pods? You never know what is lurking inside the pod. (laughs) Oh, like how the creature on the Mora Bound came from barrels. I was quite literally just going to use barrels as an example. Very you never similar. know what's inside of a barrel. That is exactly my point. All right, so are we afraid of barrels then, too? In a dangerous place such as this, yes. All right. I'll keep my eye out for barrels, and you keep your eye out for pods. I'll keep my eye out for something large, metal, and heavy. All right. Should you we... still are carrying the uh, large cleaver uh, that Daisy gifted you, or that you took? I can't recall, but uh, you do have you you still have the things that you uh, were gifted before making your journey. I'm more of a smasher than a hacker. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, and I'll call me hacker you, man. Um, Dungeon Delve. Uh, you move Could forward. Could we do a coffee break before? I was end? actually going to suggest that. That's great. That's a great <laughs> opportunity. Yeah, I'm like super thirsty. And I've just remembered that I still have this thing on my head. (laughs) Coffee break? Let's do it. Coffee break, let's do it. Coffee break. So you walk into a storage area in the bottom of a Nautiloid <laughs> ship. I don't like pods. <laughs> yes, you don't like pods, and uh, uh, you're still just there at the threshold. May I map? Oh, yes. Dun, map away. Dun, 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 dun. It's a storage unit. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I can't believe that I'm about to be the one to say this, but we probably shouldn't touch anything. All right? I'm going to take a look to see if they've well, stored our effects. Do you think that we should do this stealthily? Preferably. I mean, they can probably read our minds. They probably know where we're at at all. Oh, yeah. Boy, they know we're here. Okay. I'm not too concerned about it. We also walked in their front door, so... It would be well, pretty hard to miss. Did we knock? No. It's a fair all point. Right, it was left open for us, though. Oh, so they, yeah, they knew it's we were probably coming. an invitation. Uh, yeah. Well, they just knew we were coming. They could read it on our minds. You think that our stuff, when cleansed, it was brought here? We don't know where else it would be. Cleansed by what? Their their religion and magic was obviously all just ruse by these beasties. Well, and they clearly forgot that they took anything from us at any given point, so perhaps it was taken from them after they took it from us. What do you think this is? Whoa, what the? Is... No, don't touch that! <laughs> put it down! Put it down! I found this in the pile of stuff. Do you think this is a mind protection hat? Your brain oozes <laughs> out of your ears. Black, black, black liquid. liquid. Yeah, yeah, you you have to have to have to have face. <laughs> Uh, I hope those who help themselves. Queenie does, Queenie does walk up and, and grab uh, some alien artifact from the very front row, the middle row there. I mean, and uh, I don't know if it's a mind protection hat, but oh my god. <laughs> this feels miraculous. I'm gonna kill you! Oh god. Um, Queenie, I'm gonna Queenie a make a perception check for me. Okay. Yeah, well, hopefully I'm perceptive. Am I perceptive? Hello, self. Uh, that's going to be a, uh, a 15. With a 15, mm. you glance uh, as you are talking and you are looking at this observation and you look into one of the first pods and you see a shape. You oh, see no. a shape on the other side as well. <laughs> you are staring at what are clearly 
bodies of these of these humanoid alien creatures. You uh, 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 they they seem frozen in place. They're not moving. They are instead dormant, eyes closed. Not uh, not a single thing happening uh, behind the shield of this pod. Uh, uh, totally still. You're the only one who uh, has the angle on either of these pods to make this first perception. I'm gonna need y'all to not make a single motion, please. Um, for one, how cute is this thing on my head? Two, there are some weird tentacle-faced creatures, uh, just like on either side of me. They're like, hold on, they're like in a stasis. But I'm afraid if I move too much, I might wake them up. Uh, aren't they stirring at all? Um, are they stirring at all? With a 15... Stasis is the right word. They seem completely still. And any of you would be able to walk up and start to lean over and be able to look in through the windows of these pods and see the same. I mean, uh, uh, immediately this doesn't add up. We thought there were five of them. Well, we're only looking at the first two pods. We don't know how many more of them might be in... The remaining pods. I mean, is there could be one of these in each pod. That's my point. Is this our chance? Can we off these bastards before they wake up? Is this them? Well, it's at least them. Is it all of them? I don't know. Maybe there are five of them that aren't in pods currently. Maybe there are four hundred of them that are in pods in stasis. And if we don't oh. off them before they wake up, we're going to be against four hundred and five oh. of these tentacle-faced weirdos. I'm gonna walk up to a pod. <clears throat> okay, you walk up close. to a pod. They're in space this morning. Do you? Oh, you were, so, you were curious like a cat. <laughs> and just the showers over. Classically, the camera's gonna pan to the pod, and you'll just see it in stasis, and then it'll zoom in. Like, <laughs> 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 the Genova theme starts playing, and we are fucked. We are um, fucked. <laughs> Some long-haired fucks gonna start talking about reunion, <laughs> and nothing's gonna make fucking sense. And you're gonna see a boob with an eye. Um, <laughs> you uh, oh. peek over, and you get very close, awakening. close enough that um, your breath uh, can fog the surface. What are you looking for? What are you trying to do? I want to examine, like, like the, the the modeling of their skin and the clothes they're wearing. I want to get a sense: is this like? Mind Flayer One that I saw, you know, Jerry or whatever, oh. you know, like we we saw all five of them that that they floated out, right? Yes, Does it looked yes. like any of those. They were not identical. Those five, right? I mean, there were there were distinctions between them, um, uh, distinctions that uh, were subtle but true. And so, with a perception check, I would say you could try to judge whether or not this was one of the five that you saw during the lottery. Twenty four. <laughs> It's not enough, unfortunately. Leaning close, uh, it's you even see your own reflection in the glass, and uh, you back away and <laughs> looking close, you this this one does have different features. Ah, fuck! This doesn't look exactly like any of the five that you saw. Uh, with a higher than a twenty, I would say you feel fairly confident that this wasn't one of those. Oh, no. This is not one of the five that ah. we saw. Oh, That's what I'm no, saying. No. This is number six. Well, number six out of 405. And this oh. is number seven. <clears throat> presumably. No, it's like when you go to a nest of a, a riff cutler. If you break one of their eggs, they all start hatching. No, it's just like when you go to a beehive. You shake the hive and you get the entire colony. So we leave them in the pods. Taishan, can't you just burn this whole place to the ground? Just just burn the whole thing. Fill it with smoke. Choke them out. I'm only level four. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I can a... shoot one fireball at every single... I couldn't even melt the six. ice outside to six. make a feel. Um, we're also inside of here. Oh, we don't have to stay. If the whole thing's on fire, we can just leave. It doesn't look particularly flammable. Ah. Yes. The DMs never allow my characters to set things on fire. <laughs> I, because you can only set non-magical surfaces on fire, oh, Tyshen. They can't be wet. This is clearly a ship. I'm sure it's wet. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, you know, in the walls the of ship the crooked appears house. To be dry. <laughs> <laughs> are also swollen with rain. <laughs> I say we leave them be. If they're if they didn't join on the feast, perhaps they are are weak and helpless, and this is the only way they can survive. Perhaps these are tombs. That's a good point. Did I see them breathing? Looks like a sarcophagus. Biological. With a twenty-four, I would say that they um uh do appear to be. Oh, Jesus. They are not dead. Very, very, very slow. They're like Matt Damon from Interstellar. I've never. Oh, seen you don't it. understand that reference. <laughs> I've never seen it. I should see it. I, it's on my list. I believe that's also Matthew McConaughey. Isn't Matt Damon no. also in it? He's yeah. the no. I do oh. know that he is the one in Stacey. He anyway. Oh, oh. <laughs> never mind. All right, you win. <laughs> All right, before I'm reminded about how terrible the film Prometheus was, <laughs> let us continue. I'm going to keep an eye out for my anchor and the rest of my effects. <clears throat> And if a giant, handsome Squidward emerges, I just, just let him kill me. I give up. The moment that Barnabas begins to move forward, Scrim will be, like, right on his heels mm -hmm. behind him, mm -hmm. using him as a meat shield, but also ready to, like, jump out and, like, stab somebody in, like, the okay. ankle. Like, okay. shank him in the ankle. Are you picking a particular uh, corridor of sorts to go oh, down? Oh, it's up to Barnabas. I'm just stuck to his heels. Yeah, I'm asking the group. Yeah. Okay, well. I, I, would, I would basically take a, an opposite... You know, some other area of the storeroom. Uh, mainly keeping an eye out for for my tusks, given that how big they are, okay. they would hopefully be easy to spot. If you know, how non machinery. Non you guys, you guys start to make your way through these layers. Yeah, we're still and what to, I will to say actually move them. Is that you do spy additional bodies <sighs> as you make your way? This is a nightmare. <laughs> Already through. Oh my god! Is it bad? I just gotta say it because I'm imagining. It. I'm just imagining this architecture exactly like the Frieza saga from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> That's actually a terrific. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah. Yeah. That That's architecture a could have a baby with the artist, uh, the art director who made the alien ship from the movie Alien and Aliens. It's that like the ribs and 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 all. Uh, so uh, Frieza could have a, a baby with the Xenomorph. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've yeah. seen plenty of pictures of that. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that exists. For sure. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> my game. Uh, I will um, have my cleaver that I have, and I think I have like, also like the the props with me. As far as like, what be, I've like, kind of wrapped it all together into a giant cudgel, and I am very tempted to tap on the glass, but uh, I'm just going to keep an eye out for my effects and see if the the supplies that they have are things that a person that would might be us or the ogres would enjoy or is it so bizarre and alien like is there like or is there cabbage here those of you who aren't focused on your ally members um or even if you want to take a glance make a investigation check oh yeah, that's where i'm a viking yeah, i would fan. say i'm definitely not bad that. actually And move your uh, characters up into the positions that you would be in investigation. Yeah, so Mike, which one would you be down? I'm with you. I'm, I would be up here. Okay, so I'd be down this one. I'd be down the opposite one. I'll be over it. Oh, okay, so you were near Ty Shanner down this way. Um, oh, is, oh yeah. is this her out? Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Queenie is exactly where Queenie is. Okay. A 16, believe it or not. A 16. Um, a 6, believe it or not. A 6. 23. 23. Oh. 10. 10. Uh, these uh, items appear to be, um, first of all, uh, they're battened down. Um, they seem to be uh, uh, not just well organized, but um, they seem to be strapped to the floor uh, in some cases. Not all, but most cases. And uh, so Barnabas with a 16, 16. you you are finding, um, you're starting to like perhaps pull away some of that battening and, and, and starting to look in and see if there's these containers contain what would look like either ogre uh, tin effects uh, or fodder or your, your personal effects. Um, you find caskets filled with exotic metals, minerals, harvested from perhaps not the prime material plane. You find tools for maintenance or, and repair. Uh, with a six, six. you open uh, and you find a rack of spare tentacles. 
uh, uh, very, very literally, uh, 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 small, uh, looks ready to be grown, almost like um, asparagus uh, in a in a ca- in a uh, <laughs> container. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, what did you get? Ten. Uh, ten. Uh, you're opening, and you're finding um, more crystals. Uh, orbs, robes, uh, uh, mm. uh, 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 effects that they would use to either equip, perhaps, or um, make wands of, and the same sort of clothes that you're familiar with now. And uh, I am not investigating. You're not investigating. At the, at you're just, just I'm paying. percepting. You're just percepting. Because I'm scared to death. And you're scared to death. And uh, with a 24, I believe you got Queenie. Uh, you find a box that is clearly. F- filled with labeled packages that contain seeds of unknown origin. Whoa. Oh, this is this is really great. I'm gonna put this in my pack. <laughs> <laughs> Jakar's overrun with alien vegetables in like three years. Look, Invasive species. I'm a, whor- I'm a whore to culturalist. <laughs> and it's important for me to investigate every single seed I find. You pull out uh, a handful of these pa- uh, packets, and 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 looking inside, these seeds look like nothing that you would find here in Avantress. It's a uh, 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 strange uh, shapes, strange um, frills, and uh, what would happen if you were to put them in the gir- in the dirt? Unknown. Who knows? Oi, Mr. I'll F- find out. But who knows? Mr. Fire Blossom, what you got there? Those look like they might be good eats. Well, the. Wriggly tentacles. Is it common to keep tentacles alive on a ship like this? I mean, when times are tough, you know, many cephalopods regrow their tentacles. Chuck one off. You just go around. I'm not saying it's uh, done anything that I would do, but some of my crewmates did. It's kind of like lizards cash in. Like sometimes... You can cut off the tail of a lizard and grow a whole new lizard with that tail tip. Oh, well, they might be trying to grow a lot of cephalopods. Oh, yeah, I think that we bring this with us and await the time when I'm reunited with my spice box. Scrim, you are listening to Taishan and Barnabas converse. You're watching the others sort of gently, gingerly opening packages, putting a few things away, <laughs> and you look into one of the ponds that first seems to look appear to be en- empty until you notice movement inside. Uh, Through the slightly tinted glass, you uh, see a figure. Strange, humanoid skin modeled like a banana. Pointed ears, a flattened nose, pointed teeth, bits of facial hair, the gray hair from the top of his angular skull, long and thin, falling well below his shoulders. Despite this confinement, you immediately get a sense of innate power and determination, looking into deep, dark eyes, which are gazing fiercely back at you. (laughs) Guys, this this one's moving! (laughs) <laughs> are, are you right next to him, right? Oh, am I? Yeah. But he was investigating. Okay, was so, like so per- perceiving. I'll be like shoveling the tentacles into my pan. I, I'm like uh-huh. pulling on Barnabas' is like whatever you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure it's just a trick of the... Ah! <laughs> you look in and you see the same figure. This is not a mind flayer. This is another humanoid-esque creature that you have never seen before. What he, is it? Is everyone oh, okay? Oh, it's a feller. A what? It's a feller, not a squid. A feller? A feller. What does a feller do? What does that mean? Well, it's, it's not like a squid. A he's, oh, what I'm saying is he's not a squid. It's like a humanoid. It's not like one of these strange aliens. Does it... <laughs> Like, does it fell things? No. Oh. It's like you go down to the pub and you hang out with fellers. What's wrong with y'all? Get your shit together. It's a feller in there. I get you, Barbo. <laughs> Oi, see? Thank you, Miss March. Yeah. And he's moving around. He's watching you, listening. He's watching all, anyone he has uh, 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 able, able to glint. He's, he's, he's leaning forward. He does not appear to be sleeping like the mind flayers who are apparently dormant in their pods, but he is seemingly totally alert <laughs> and listening to every word you're saying. I will, I will grab the... Uh, the hex amulet spoon on my ear and like tug at my ear and say like can you hear us yes you were smart not to interfere with the pot 
Can we all hear it? You can hear it, but it is muffled. It is coming through the glass. You're a to a that that sort of like <laughs> echoing, uh, reverberating sound. But it is quiet. He's oh, he's well. keeping his voice down. Well, Lisa Feller's a nice guy. He's given us a compliment already. Hi, I'm Queenie March. It's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Or can you please just tell us what you're doing why, in that pod? Yeah, why are you inside that pod? Are you okay? Blink twice if you're all right. Blink once if you want us to break you out. I'm not okay. It would be great if you could break me out. Oh, are you? Oh, 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 are you crazy? Boy, are you on the side of feller or squid? <laughs> if you mean I am against this, uh, the mind flayers, uh, the answer is yes. And we're just gonna take that face value, you absolute well, insane-looking man. Oh, we could, we could ask. Uh, what do what do you dislike the most about these creatures? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> these creatures, they uh, fucking accent town USA. Let's Look. go. Uh, <laughs> we have to we have to go back you. to Germany. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Uh, so yes, oh, these creatures, he uh, he enslaves my entire people. They they are a uh, 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 scourge against all. God damn it! <laughs> you feel me? You get it? Yep. Yep. Hold on. Hold on. Um, you, you got this. What are you doing? This is uh, that. It's a uh, ooh ah e o. Oh, okay, let's try. The mind flayers. They son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, Boy, you, they you are practice. sons of bitches. Oh, you you really hate the mind flayers, don't you? You practice and you practice and you practice, you practice, and, the and, you practice it it and then all of a sudden you turn into Lethica. It's fucking horseshit. Um, <laughs> jingle, jingle, well, too. <laughs> I'll, I'll give the DM a moment Hold to collect on. himself because I'm going to look at all of my friends and say, This is bullshit. If I wanted to turn you all against Yorny, I could come up Thank with you. two dozen different reasons why I hate the guy. Well, no offense. You could? Why don't you start? Well, yeah, I give us one. I, I don't actually hate you. I'm trying to prove a point. The guy could be lying. Well, yeah, but sometimes people speak with intention, Scrim. And I know that's not your thing. But sometimes people say few words because those words they say are important. And so he might just be collecting himself to make sure he says the right words. <clears throat> we know that these creatures in prison... Can we, we give them a name? What they do? I mean, he probably has a name, but let's wait. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 not him. I'm talking about these creatures we keep talking. Can we give they're, them a They're name? called Illithid. I'm sorry, what? They're called Illithid. Oh. Oh, Illithid. Illithid. Il- mind flayers. Illithid. Oh, mind flayers. Illithid. Why are they? Oh, oh you Illithid. know what? Illithid. Oh, I never heard of that. And I hate them very, down to my very soul. They, they are, <gasps> they are the... uh, a scourge on my, my people. They are a, uh, uh, you have to punctuate. You have to uh, do this voice. I'm just going to do a little bit of talking. Oh, no, uh, we, we don't need to talk like you. And you talk like you. We'll talk like us. And you I really, really don't you. have to explain it to us. I've been, I've been, I've been here for a year, trapped inside this pod. I, I have not known the outside world for all this time just because I have uh, tried to to, to, to just, just destroy them to, to to do what I could to defeat them. Do you not have to eat? This pod is magically enervating. It uh, sustains my being, but it does not. It leaves you hungry. Why are they keeping solid food in more than 12 months I think. Uh, uh. What did you do to get put in a pod? I have been working my whole life in order to Get uh, to, to, to defeat, defeat the mind flayers. I have been working this entire time to attempt to crush them. Oh, do you know what Drakkar is? Is this uh, uh, somewhere on the uh, prime material plane? The, you mean the world? You know, Vantress. The continent. Uh, I know the name. Where are you from, feller? I am from a place called the Astral Sea. <laughs> um, all right, all right. This is a whole lot. Okay. Is that the sea we uh, sailed on? No, no in the Astral yeah. Sea is a folk tale that folks talk about that out beyond the stars they can sail on great ships. That's a myth. And if you, you got are in you your talking head- about the creamy path? The what? You know when you look up at the night sky and you're looking for the creamy path? Oh, Miss March. <laughs> oh, no. You're thinking about that place we went. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's a brothel. Um, I'm talking about 
the night sky. Let me out and I will explain further. I don't know. I think you can explain while you're in there. You're making me nervous. Uh, uh, and, and, and if you're in there because you're a prisoner, then why are the other flayers in pods just like this one? Are they prisoners too? Against their own kind? My theory is that they are here because there's not a food, enough food for them to sustain themselves. Okay, you got me there. Didn't well, we come here for just this? To break shackles, as you said. I Barnabas? was just about to say. Oh, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Tai Shen, you're well spoken. <laughs> and you've been paying attention. <clears throat> you're saying that this is a ship. You're in the brig. And not on account of any t- of tempting mutiny. But just shackled for. Potential food. No, I am shackled because the uh, the mind flayers they know what I tried to do. They put me in here to when they return in this ship. They will make me watch as they attempt to destroy my people. Oh, that's awful! Kind of like what they're doing to those ogres. When did they get here? I cannot say for certain. This is uh, an unknown to me. I'd say uh, they have been here for perhaps two decades, maybe a little more. I got one question for you, Feller. Uh, if you were in a room with these illithids and they were helpless, mm-hmm. and you had a weapon of your choice, what would you do? Describe it. I, Weapon or no, I would... I would kill each and every one of them quickly. How would you do that? <laughs> if I had my sword, I would use my sword oh. to <sighs> sever their heads. I think. All right, all right, all right. What? What is? What's your name? They call me Ket Rastin. Who are you? Oh, Ket Ket Rastin. Ket, uh, you can call me Ket. Ket oh. Rastin is my full name. All right. Ket, like, uh, well, let, let's. We'll, we'll make you a deal. Oi, Mr. Right? Steen. We we let you we let you out. All right, it seems like we have a common goal here. And if you backstab us, my two guys here, these guys are the biggest, meanest, most angry people on the entire planet, especially this guy. Oh, yeah. I I, I am very intimidated. Oh, I'm not there yet. These guys will snap your neck, tear your arms off, and then we'll eat the remains. And Mr. Fireblossom will cook you. I don't. I'm not into it. I don't. I don't eat people. It's a bluff. He's got a oh. rage that burns with the intensity of a thousand suns. Oh yeah, this son of a bitch is the angriest man I've ever met. I may just do it as a release from this terrible life I've been living. Do you not know what it is like to be in a pod for more oh, than a year? You prob- got me again. You're probably going to need like 30 to 40 minutes in a room by yourself. I, Let's let him out. We I, can have this conversation This is an important point. If you could find for me some of the uh, rations or fruits or, 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 or water that they almost <laughs> the certainly... The door will open. He'll come out and instantly <laughs> die. Uh, I have not eaten or drank for some so time. The news. So what, what kind of things do you like to eat and drink? Like, you can't eat or drink their rations. I'm not though. picky. Just pick. I oh, think, do you like tea? I, I do have just one question. <laughs> How uh, sturdy is the technology or the the uh, the architecture or the craftsmanship of these mind flayers? This ship is uh, is almost indestructible. How about your pod? Uh, is, uh, I, you think I, I can? Hey, I have a bet. You think I can rip the door off with my bare hands? I'll drop my cleaver. Yeah, you can just pull this lever over here. To the, <laughs> That's not what I asked. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what I asked. <laughs> if you want to try, it's, 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 uh, choice is yours. But, but before that happens. Why have they kept you alive, though? As I said, this is this is their way. They're they're sinister. They're devious. They they kept me alive to to torture me to 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 make me watch. Oh, that's gross. I'm not a big fan of voyeurism. <laughs> no, they 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 know that if they make it back to where they are from, where oh. I am from. That they will be able to use what I delivered to them and and wreak havoc. That, right. I, that, 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 that's what I'm saying. If you know a lot about them and what they can do, how's the best way to kill them? 
Oh, I, I'd be happy to share if you would find me some fruit and some water and you let me let me out of this place. Here's the deal. How about uh, we, 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 some of us look for supplies. I want, I want one moment with them. I just want to, just one moment. I, I would look for water. Don't go too, don't go too far. All right. Uh, Make an investigation advantage. Cat, cat. Uh, cat, a uh, 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 cat, cat Rostin. Do you want to sort of? Uh, right. K- no, no. K e t r o s t e e n. Sort of K-E-T. like cat yeah. yeah, but there's an apostrophe, apostrophe K- uh, yeah, between cat. the okay. T. Oh, Mr. Rostin. Apostrophe. <clears throat> all right, all right. Yes. Focus here for a second. All right. Mm-hmm. I just want to get a sense of who you are, and in that moment, my eyes will kind of go smoky, and uh, you will, you will. Uh, <clears throat> Feel as though you're being watched. There's this, there's this presence almost looming over your your character. I need to make a wisdom sixteen saving throw as I attempt to glimpse you. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Um, he chooses to fail. On a failed save, your patron can sense one word to describe your target's current emotion. So I, I hear, oh, in the back so of my cool. mind, I hear the howling, the gnashing, the gnarling, the growling of the beast. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> what? That, that didn't help at all. What the hell was that? Uh, he is feeling curious. Curiosity towards you and your companions. Hmm. I can't, I can't crack this nut. <laughs> Mr. Stamiscotch, it's been quite a long time since you've told me to rip something uh, off its hinges or rip someone to pieces. How about you, uh, you know, for old time's sake? You know, Barnabas, uh, I've, I've tried every trick of the book. This guy's a goddamn mastermind. So you rip those door hinges right off, and if he even makes one wrong move, you rip him to shreds. Oh, yeah, I will. And this all feels strangely familiar to me. Have we met? I, 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 don't, I do not believe so. I've only been here for, for the, the, unless you've been to the sea or uh, the astral plane. Oh, you know, if it's a real sea, I'd like to uh, sail it. Yeah, yeah, to make, a, the door make a strength check. As he used the door to try and rip it off its hinges, I want to casually move towards the lever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fall on my ass. Uh, just strength, yep. not athletics. Uh, you uh, know, I, you, can, you can use athletics for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 24. 24. You push your fingers in between the ceiling rim uh, and and ring of this of these doors and you pull and you pull and you pull and uh, you are able to Oh! oh! I don't release, like that. Release the door and it comes free in one uh, clean pull uh, uh like pulling um uh, the tab off of uh, like pulling uh, the the plastic off of a new monitor. It, oh. it's, it, it, it comes it, it comes free, and you actually have to stumble back a little bit before regaining your balance. And it's it's uh, uh, like holding a, a, the eye of an of a fly. It's like this giant. Uh, 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 what's the um, uh, that wonderful moment in? Uh, uh, Nausicaa, the Valley of the Wind, when she uses mm. when she when she grabs the like eye of, oh, the, yeah. of the of the bug creature, right? Oh, yeah. it, it's oh. like it's like that like hollowed out like almost like a reverse sled. You're holding that now, and it's actually quite light, um, but it was quite on there. And you see now uh, that the the um, atmosphere, for lack of a better word, that was uh, keeping Ket uh, where he was uh, is releasing and, and pouring out, uh, slooping down and out into the. Uh, uh, into the area. Hey, and- nice job, Barnabas! Thank you. Uh, the, uh, what what may I call you? Oi, uh, name's Barnabas. Barnabas. Barnabas Dreadwake, at your service. You know, I've uh, de-shelled a good number of uh, crustacean beasties. It's not not that dissimilar. This is this the food? They're looking. They're oh, looking. Well, you, well, you like some tentacles. Uh, no, you should not be eating these. I think. Uh, I'm looking. Uh, what do you roll? Oh, do you have any roll? roll? Yeah, you're supposed to roll an advantage because I'm helping you. Oh, twist it. Can I we twist? are not filled with any I'm twisting twice. <laughs> that is why they are there. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Thank, Thank you, you, Chad. Big money. That's much better. Uh, much tw- better. 20, I believe. 
Uh, 20, yeah. Uh, you blow past the 10 DC and you're able to eventually find um, uh, what appear to be some like uh, if, if apples had spines and if you uh, and, and a few canteens of uh, uh, Blue milk seems seems to be water. Massive okay. space ice cream. A massive, yeah, yeah, yeah. You find uh, uh, the 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 freeze dried yeah, yeah, yeah. pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, ice cream uh, sandwich. You, you find, you find some effects, yeah. and you are able to uh, carry those and bring them over. And uh, 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 this is uh, before I am disconnected. I need this in my uh, system, or otherwise I will die I immediately. This is food. Where you are from? <laughs> and I'll hand him the freeze dried mass ice cream. It's, it's not exactly like <laughs> mom used to make however <laughs> it will do and he starts to consume the food and 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 take the water and when he's freed he pulls pulls away and out and into the hallway with you into the corridor into the storage space that you all share now and um stumbles for a moment he's good he's good to be free yeah well there's a lad i'll reach down and and, and prop him up and i'll give him my arm all right, there you go. Your strength returning already after eating that weird stuff from uh, Mr. Yornir found. You lift him up. He's um, quite muscular, slender. Um, he's not wearing very much. He uh, seems to have been stripped of whatever armor he may have been wearing in this space. Um, but he has this sort of a, a light bodysuit on, and uh, he's about five foot nine, five foot eight. That. Oh, so it's been a decade since you've had a proper meal. Is it been a, a more than a year? I think it's been a slow time. I can't oh, say for certain. A, dec- a year, a year. Well, so, oh, I'm actually glad there's a silver lining. It means you'll be, you'll have an appetite when I cook you a feast after we're all through with this. That would be very nice. Yes. Is your plan to defeat the mind flayers then? That Confront is them at least. No, to destroy them. It is. <laughs> This is our goal. Yeah, listen, Tyson, you're the only one who's like streets behind here. We're going to need you to catch up and get on the same page as <laughs> if us. If we here, don't right? even try, we're no better than them. Oh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to stick this sword so far up their asses that they're not going to be able to walk straight. Oh. What do you know about these creatures? It sounds like you may know very little. I had to tell you their names, even. Well, we know that they're scary, we know that they're powerful. We know that they eat brains. Ah, uh, yes, no, this, is, this is a common feature, yeah. We only encountered them for the first time yesterday. Never before that. But we have felt their effects for days. And you show up in these outfits with these weapons? What's wrong with my outfit, hey, what was sir? It? <laughs> it wasn't our first choice. We were putting on the play. And they took everything from us. And we didn't even get to do the play. <laughs> uh, this is uh, very disappointing, I'm sure. I, I normally don't dress like a grand gaudy admiral. I don't even know why I'm wearing the hat still. <laughs> I'll suck it into the corner. <laughs> tell me, tell me uh, 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 what, what is outside of the ship? I, I know nothing. I, 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 I cannot say. <gasps> outside of the ship. What? Take this. I'm gonna cl- uh, put something very precious in his hand. It's gonna be a pile of salt. <laughs> Throw that over your right shoulder. Is this? A, Do it now. Is this a superstition? No, it is a it is a charm against the evil spirits that are lurking right outside. That almost killed the only shaman, the greatest and only shaman I've ever known personally. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Barnabas is I talking failed. about all of the spogas, <laughs> that spirit ogres. <laughs> Just humor him. If you think you this will help you defeat <gasps> the mind flayers, you are mistaken. This is not the way. After all, I ripped that door <laughs> off of your uh, prison. That's a lot of things. <laughs> what is the way? If you know how to defeat them. The only way to defeat the mind flayers is to fucking kill them. <laughs> I take it back. I like you. <laughs> it's like any kind of sea beast terrorizing the local populace. You don't say, oh, well, he's hungry and he likes to cause destruction. And he likes to just eat all of the innocent women and children and merchants. So let's try to reason with it. They are a plague. They are, they are uh, a, a scourge. They are, they are uh, manipulative and deceitful. They are... Uh, at, uh, I could go on. I could go on. They they have uh, done nothing but uh, weaken and uh, torture our people. They are are this this one here. See see this one in this pod. 
Yes? This was my son. <gasps> what? This is the way they, they reproduce. If you are uh, were infected, if you are uh, taken by one of these mind flayers and a tadpole inserted into your eye, maybe hours, days, maybe later, this is what happens to you. I would like to attempt to discern if he is telling the truth. Make an insight check. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Lucky number. <laughs> you One look of the coolest. So Scrim's not very wise. You look at the pod and you look at the dormant mind flare inside and it looks nothing like this new person that you're talking to, this new creature, Ket Rustine. And you are <laughs> listening to his words and it seems far-fetched, but... He could be telling the truth. He could He could not be. It's impossible to make a discernment one way or the other. Well, I'm very sorry for your loss, I think. <laughs> My son, he knew what he was getting into, as I did. It is something I have already grieved for some time now. Are all the illithid in these pods, were they once... Your people changed. I cannot speak for the others. At no point were they mind flayers to begin with. They were always something else, transformed by whatever these real creatures are. So you're telling me not only do they lock people in cages, build a false paradise to keep them as cattle. They put them in strange pods. They steal their voices. They also steal their entire identity. I am not sure about this, uh, the voices. Uh, they, they, when they find a host that they think is compatible, they will take it and, and make it their own. I suspect you know so little. This is what they have planned for you. Oh, they're uh, parasites. That's all they are. They're barnacles to be scraped off with my fillet knife. You think you think you have enough magics and Oh no, strength? no, not even no, not even a little bit. Boy, we've got enough, yeah. <laughs> Oi. Mr. Mr. Stabascotch here is just being modest. No, oh, it's really not modesty. It's just absolutely soul-gripping fear. The only weakness uh, Mind Flayer has is its hubris. If you play through this, perhaps you have a chance to take it by surprise, but that you are here, the way you speak now, I suspect you are two steps behind, yeah? Day late and a gold piece short. You like to come with us now that you're our new friend? As your friend uh, here suggested. What is her name? Miss March, if you're nasty. <laughs> Miss March. Yeah, that's me. You are correct when you said oh, I will nasty. need uh, 30 or 40 minutes to <sighs> digest and compose yeah, myself. Some time to yourself. You've been alone, but not fully alone for a year. I have, uh, uh, how do you say, a proposal, a, a, a pitch? Hmm? Sure. Somewhere up there is my sword. Will you retrieve it for me? If you promise not to turn it on us. It is a very special sword to my family. What does it look like? It is, oh... Uh, he describes the Bustard Sword from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> wow, well, that's really badass. <laughs> if I find it, I don't know that I could give it Wait, back. I'm with my Shen and Monobos. You're all right by me. <laughs> Two-hand what, what, wielding what is the sword, uh, sword, What is the function oh. of those two gigantic holes drilled into the base of the metal? The, the function of the holes is for material. You didn't, you, you, they it have has two slots. That, 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 that's place. always true from the beginning. What you are you talking about? You slot the gems yeah, in that make the, the, the water. You don't leave them empty. 
Usually you have to put in like your 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 fire all perhaps. Every slash shadows your mind. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Whatever happened to just picking up an anchor and dropping it on a guy? Whatever happened to that? Listen. All right, we'll get you your sword. Well, 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 well no, because I asked if you promise you won't turn it on us. If I had somehow made my way out of the pod on my own sometime in this last year, I would have thrown myself at them. I would have attempted to make my way all the way to the top, all the way to the elder brain that lives there. And if I could have cut his stem with my sword, I would have. But I would have died, I think. I would have died... Before I made it to level three. Elder Bray, the brain of this creature? Not of the ship, no. Oh. A brain in is a leader of the Mind Flayers. A, the final stage of what these creatures are. What? Wait, they go from tadpoles yeah which are yeah. amphibians yeah and they turn into squid fellers which are cephalopodal this is this is the majority of their lives yeah and they turn into a big old brain the the bridge between the the mind flayers you have come to know and the elder brain is unknown even to me Oh, right, well, we don't really need to know about its biology. All we need to do is kill it. It can't be that hard. Oh, um... Well, I don't know. It seems difficult to an answer a simple question. To answer your question. <laughs> to answer. I will fight alongside you. I will not stab you in the back. If you are determined, I am... Or in the front. ...here to fight alongside you. But I need my sword and to recuperate. Right. In return, my, okay. my proposal... If I can keep up this fucking accent. You're doing great, dear. Is that... I will sabotage these pods. I will... I will, uh... Perhaps turn down the magics. Watch them... Let go of their motor coil. And that's not going to be hard for you to do when these were once your children? It's well, you know, I asked you that question about what you would do uh, if you were in a room so I could see the real passion in, in, in killing your, your captors. Uh, you're kind of freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> These others I will, I, will, I will do easily. All right. We all process this, uh, seething hatred in different ways. I understand. Um, before we go, one last question. Uh, do you have any idea how often... Or, or how readily these creatures can peer into our minds. I mean, is we talking like a 24-7 kind of deal, or is it just once in a while? Is this what they told you? Well, they, they heavily implied that we were always being listened in on. Deception. But some of us had our doubts. Lies. Deception. Ha! You were right. They, 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 they can do this, but it is, it is not all the time. It is, it is just... Uh, Intimidation. Last question before we start killing. Uh, library dreams. What do you know about that? Do you have libraries in the Astral Sea? Books? No, this is a mystery. Hey. Well, that's the tadpole goes into the eye, <laughs> not the back of the skull. That is right, yes. Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> this will be this will be very good. I'm I'm pleased. So why should we, will, we? We will we will kill these mind flayers. We will make our way up to I think the top floor. I think we will kill uh, Sophilith, and then we will retrieve the Hexager armament. It will be wait 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 the, what? the Hexager armament. Hmm. Well. W did you say retrieve the hex at your armament? Excuse me, what? <laughs> oh no! Look, you gotta, you gotta make your, you made Yornir mad. He's doing it. He's angry now. 
Whoa, calm down, you in here. <laughs> yes, Your rage can you, be felt all across the ship. You're going to alert them to our presence. You said you have always been here, I think, on Aventris, on the, the Prime Material Plane. How do you know of this? Well, because somebody's looking for it. <laughs> this is, does not surprise me. It surprises me that you have somehow uh, uh, come across this. A shiny metal man I of a shiny metal horse who is the, the size of two Mr. Yorniers. Much has happened in this last year. Well, he was looking for it, but we were sent on a, the main quest line by a ghost mm. to find it. Sure. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm being I mean, serious. Yeah, he's not lying. A ghost dragonborn, if that helps. Well, it is here. It is, is, is it is in this structure, this creature. This is why this is this is the artifact I mentioned earlier that I brought to to the mind flayers. So why did you bring it to the mind flayers? So that they would be blamed for having it. This is why did I not say fate has led us here? I'm starting to get annoyed that he's always right. <laughs> Do you? Do I just you go know along the, with it at this point. Do you know the name Secundus? <laughs> this name is familiar. Yes. What? What do you know about this name? This is a. Uh, uh, this is a uh, automaton. This is. This is. A, uh, uh, he is. He is a very powerful being. He is the one you ran into, who's searching for this hexature. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that was the guy. Yep. Very powerful. This is this is my plan. He will he will find it with the elder brain. Should I perish and destroy him? But what if he finds it while we're really close to it? Then get out of the way. Ah, oh, goodness gracious! What does he plan to do with it? Return it. To where? If you mean Secundus, to to return it back to his uh, his home, is where I stole it from. Which is where. And what does it do? If you want all these answers, I think perhaps after we kill the Elder Brain. Is he from a place of angles and lines? Is orderly shapes? Order? Logic? Yes, yes, yes. We know what he plans to do with it. I will. We will kill him too. That doesn't sound possible. That's a whole lot of killing. You you foresaw the the destruction of Drakkar, but he's saying that Secundus would take it and bring it back home. Secundus will only take it back home. It is a, a, a powerful item to his way of life, to his people. However, he is not going to do anything evil with it. He just wants it back. I'm it's, gonna I get the feeling that Yoni is gonna disagree with you there, pal. We have seen visions. Well you have seen visions. I have seen visions. <laughs> Perhaps it is not Secundus's will that I have seen. But either way uh-huh. it must be in our hands and no one else's. Well what if it's what if Secundus doesn't get it back. What if you foresaw the Elder Brain using the Hexature yeah. armament? This I would not recommend. This this is madness. So uh, can you can you put a couple of puzzle pieces together for me? If I can. Um. So you. Oh, sorry, you're confusing me with those coin flippings. Um, I don't know why Scrim taught you that. You were too tall to flip coins. Um. <laughs> And I'm far too short to keep looking at them. To the do opposite it. of the height oh. on the rides, so you must be this short to flip coins. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, what, what I was going to ask. So you're telling me that these mind flayers, yeah, you were engaged with them in some way. You then went to where Secundus is, stole his Hexatrona Magnificus armament, brought it back here, planted it on the mind flayers. We're in prison for a year. Also, Secundus could come in and destroy the Elder Brain so he could then take it back to from whence it came. But you also want us to go upstairs and kill the Elder Brain. How does all of that fit together? Is this, 
You is is close. What's what you say? Yeah, uh, well, I'd hope so. I was listening. I got big ears. It's, I see this. Yes. I grow up a captive of the mind flayers. My family, my people, all gith Yankee like myself. We form res- revolution. We find a way to uh, harden our minds against their psionic abilities. We find ways to, to fight back. We manage a few victories. And 30, maybe 40 years ago, we find freedom. But the war continues. We fight. We make ships of our own. We fight on the sea that you've never been to or seen. It's not made of water, I assure you. No, it's the crazy path. And Stop saying that. we achieve a great victory. <laughs> 23 years, 22, 23 years ago, I deal a deadly blow to this very ship before it disappears teleports out of existence I think I think crashing here it takes me a long time to formulate a plan after that but knowing the power the plane of logic knowing what they are capable of my plan comes to me I think I will get them to destroy the illithid steal something from them give it to them and let the rest play out to protect my people and to destroy this evil once and for all well you know you're a lot smarter than I am and I understood about half of that but what I am understanding is that you seek to destroy the ones that would shackle you I admire your relentlessness. You just keep moving forward till all your enemies are destroyed. My son and I, we arrived just down the hall. You will find a ring. It can take you to other worlds. And we had the hexatrometer in hand. It has been here. Is this explaining the puzzle pieces, I think? Mm-hmm. Not really. Sorry, I found a cabbage. I hope it's a cabbage. <laughs> Are you saying the astral sea is an actual sea amongst the stars? Like they say in the tales? Should we survive this, I will show you. I think you look like you would enjoy. I think we should get him his weapon and continue. Are you a star man? I know not. Floating way up high? Star man, I know not this, no. I am uh, Ketrastin. I heard tales about a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thought that they'd he'd blow our minds. Mm. My mind's pretty blown. I think we should go. Yeah, mine to too. Place. You are Star Man. That's your name now, Mister Star Man. I mean, we can just keep calling him Cat. That's totally fine. Well, why don't you enjoy your strudel with cream? <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go find your sword. Thank you. It will feel good to hold it again. I hope you are not eaten alive by the mind flayers. We don't plan on it. <clears throat> Killing tentacle beasties is kind of my speciality. They don't stand a chance. Giant brains, not so much, but there's a first time for everything. I will sit here. And he, like, slides a crate down and off and takes a seat and finds more of the effects that you were able to give him and starts to peel one and take another swig of liquid and start to... uh, You can tell that he is relishing the simple act of eating again. Uh, Shall we? Oh, one parting gift for Mr. Starman. I had one left over, <laughs> and I will uh, hand him a, uh, a bent spoon with a hex mark um, etched into it. In case the spirits of the spogers are here, are lingering. Thank you. 
<laughs> Stays sitting in the salt that you threw onto the ground. At least make put it to some use. <clears throat> nope. The five of you leave, <laughs> turning down and, and into the rest of the corridor. And before we continue, that's where we're going to take a break. Uh, time goes on. You know, I like him. I think we can trust him. I don't trust him as far as we can throw him, but I don't think we have a choice. I was grappling with places beyond you long, and now there are places beyond the world? We only had stories about a world beyond the stars. Oh, yeah, tales. Ships sailing through the stars. And that, I believe, is where we will take... A a coffee break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Mr. Yornier, you want to keep role playing. But I much prefer tea. <laughs> oh, you, Ms. Ma. The five of you uh, 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 Get your courage, take a, a deep inhale, and uh, make your way deeper, deeper into uh, the Nautilus ship. Uh, and you pass by what he described, this uh, large standing ring uh, uh, just there in the center. Um, it's at least 10 feet tall. Oh, is it uh, that thing? Yes. Oh. A circular... Oh, can I add two more things to the stress thing really quickly? Because yeah. they just came to my mind. Light candles and um, turn on rain or waterfall noises. Oh, yeah. No, Both I, of those things can be really, really I do. I do that, too. I call on Derek to make beach noises for me. I call on Derek to make dinosaur noises for me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your beach noise? No, it's, just, it's a what fucking else? cargo ship that's oh. passing by the beach. Oh, it's not a lighthouse one? <laughs> okay. All right, whatever. Fine. Um, we'll, we'll do the lighthouse later. Uh, the standing ring before you is at least 10 feet tall, like a circular gate or entrance. Glyphs mark an inner ring, and a collection of chevrons are spaced equally around its outer Ooh, edge. Good work. Getting near this strange construction, you can feel the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, even though it is, seems dark and dormant. Indeed, you stare through the empty window at the ship that surrounds you. Moving on deeper into the... Uh, area where you have placed your minis. You see this strange long tube that uh, you're near standing on. You wouldn't be standing on that. It's, it's, it's set into the floor almost. Oh, I see, I see. In the center of this corridor sits a sleek vessel approximately 40 feet long. This small craft has a cone-shaped structure that tapers to a point with seats enough for up to six medium creatures. The sturdy shell offers limited protection for its passengers and is clearly designed for quick maneuvering. Doors line either side of the corridor on either side of the craft. Let me also make an indication here. It, these right here, these lines, those indicate an area that goes upwardly. So like a slope. Uh, no, that's like a ladder. Oh! These are, these oh. are walls. So what you've passed as you've crossed over into what looks like a, a doored area, each one of these rooms being totally, totally shut, uh, what you crossed over before walking down and over was a wall that would allow you to walk or to ladder up to the second floor. So any of these, oh. any of these three squares, you could actually put your hands against the wall and make your way upwardly uh, should you desire to. But you've past that threshold, and you're now making your way towards the I see. Before you get too far, area. question. Yeah. Uh, I may not be able to answer this. Uh, do we know what these dark arrows are? Uh, or orientation that symbols that we'll need to use if we're Got going it. to keep this, the ship... Uh, Registration uh, yeah, marks. Yeah, yeah. Registration Thank marks. Thank you. Um, and so you find yourself looking at this strange ship. Um, it's sleek. It's polished. Uh, it's like the surface of a bobsled from the movie Cool Runnings. Oh! <gasps> Or like a crew show, oh, right? Yeah. Like my good friend, the wood wizard at oh. Toboggan. Oh, finally, someone respects Toboggans. <laughs> Hell yeah. God, I hate what the, the fuck's a Toboggan? <laughs> and the five of you are standing there, uh, having not opened it or approached any of these doors, looking at this strange craft, and thinking uh, uh, the echoing words of your new 
ally? Uh, Ketra's fiend still reverberating in your minds. Does anyone have experience with vehicles such as these? No. No. I, I would I would bet a large sum of gold pieces that not one of us would be able to drive this thing. Uh, I'll check for oars. If so, no problem. If not, not a chance. There are conveniently six seats. Oi, that means that there's one mind flayer missing. Or perhaps Sophilith himself did not grant us with his presence. We should investigate. I'm going to investigate these strange swirling. They're strange swirlies, right? You can't see the strange oh. swirlies. The doors well, you, are you, would have to, oh. you would have to walk through one of the doors or approach one of the doors to open it in order to uh, see that. that uh, we're not doing fog of war, so all of those room contents oh. are hidden to you. Uh, are you oh. ready? For the oars? Or the door? I'm going to open one of the doors. A pick a door? Uh, I'll just pick this one, I guess. You, you walk up to the door, and finding no handhold or anything like that, uh, you realize that uh, a moment too late that it, it acts exactly the same way as the door that allowed you into this cavern- cavernous area. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I love it. I love it every time he does it. And you, uh, it opens, <laughs> and... The room itself you're confronted by contains two narrow plain beds made of a sturdy material seemingly resistant to wear and tear. The beds are positioned on opposite walls, leaving a clear path to the door in the center of the room that you've just opened. The walls themselves are smooth, featureless, made of a dark matte material that provides a strange sense of security. Above each bed, there's a small shelf that extends along the wall, providing a space to store items. In this room, all of them are bare. There is an al- al- also an opening in the ceiling of the room, presumably leading upwards to other parts of the ship, and you can see the handholds that would allow you to walk through that opening and get up to the next level. These quarters appear to be designed to be functional, efficient, with few distractions or extraneous features. And you walk into a room confronted by that information. Do I see anything swirly in the middle? Uh, you look up and you can see oh, that's the that uh, uh, in the ceiling, should you go 10 feet, 20 feet, you'd be confronted by a round circular opening. It's closed right now, but you guess that it would behave just like the door should you approach it. Oh, God, what is the thing that I'm picturing right now? I can literally, I know exactly yeah, what yeah, you're talking about, those, but what is that from? I. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's yep, that yep, fucking, yep. I don't know. I don't what know. is that from? I, I had years to yep, plan this, yep. so I don't know the fucking name. <laughs> oh, um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. At the end where they take the everlasting gobstopper and they're going to be chopped up uh, by the no, fans. No, it's, that's no, no. It's ever lifting fizzy drink. Or whatever. <laughs> um, many, many, uh, uh, just to go classic D&D lore here, many, many uh, ships in uh, uh, like Spelljammer or in uh, uh, other adventures, uh, it's like a fleshy opening. It'll, it literally like sphincters out and then like comes back together. Um, this is clearly metal and machine made. But it is closed. There is a doorway or some sort of way through and up. Check the others. All right. I'll put my shoulder to one. Uh, Before you can even hit it with your shoulder, it also opens and you find yourself uh, uh, swinging, uh, flying through and into the next room. And um, I need you to make an investigation check. Wait, how does this work? How does it know where I am? It always just pulls into the wall and just it keeps open as if waiting for you to uh, either take a bed or uh, uh, exit before it uh, smoothly glides cl- uh, closed. You see me, door. <laughs> Must somehow sense our presence. Oh, well, I sense its presence. You won't be caught unawares. Uh, 12. With a 12? Um, how are you investigating the room? I am gonna just tear the fucking place apart. Oh. I am, look, I don't understand how these are like squid guys reproducing with, with 
you tadpoles pull. and turn into brains, and they oh, have like a, a, a bed. And it a makes well, you angry. A cu- and that makes, that makes me mad. <laughs> a well-made bed. A well-made bed. You uh, pull the sheets off of the top. You pull the the the, the pillow off. You, oh. you you upend the bed, and uh, you do you start to do the same for the other. And when you pull that second pillow uh, off, uh, you're looking for any kind of artifact or anything, anything that would suggest that uh, they're not just sleeping and then doing their business and then sleeping and then doing their business like mindless robots. And it's when you pull that second pillow off that you find a small but obvious piece of parchment. Something a little out of place. Reaching down, you pick it up and you look at it. It's an illustration. The face of a handsome elf man drawn in thin, delicate lines with soft shading. The eyes that stare out at you have love in them. What are the rest of you doing? Oh, fuck. I would, uh, seeing that we were beginning to investigate rooms, there's one directly to my left. I see Yornir go in one and Barnabas go in another. I turn my sword to the door and I, ah! and I do like a tumble forward roll and I come up in an action pose on one knee, pointing the sword around the room, waiting for action. It opens, and you are able to land on the other side, and I need you to make an investigation check as well. Scrim Dark Souls the shit out of this room. Uh, investigation? Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, you're not as violent as Barnabas, but you are pulling sheets back. You are, you are looking under the beds. You are looking be- behind the pillows, but uh, you do not find an artifact or item the way that Barnabas just has, even though you don't know it yet. Roger. Daishan, Queenie, would, what are you up to? At the behest of Yornir, I would go into the room that I'm next to as well. Uh, you go in, and I'll do the thing, because everyone loves the thing. Ah! Uh, uh, I did the thing! Yeah! You, oh, cool! You walk in and um, you make an investigation check as you look for more things. It's not very good. <laughs> uh, I want to say it's a five. Five. A five? A five. Come on, man. You gotta get do better investigation rules. <laughs> yeah, twice. I, I poke my head in. We should say. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the shelves are clean. Uh, the beds are well made. The uh, you, you don't disturb anything. You you instead look and you do see what your near mentioned. You look up and even with a five. Oh yeah, there. Uh, clearly, if you wanted to, you could put your hands here and ladder up should you want to. But uh, without disturbing more, you sort of back back out into the into the corridor. Uh, I'll hop down to the end of the hall and investigate uh, the room there. Okay. You walk in and you are uh, confronted by the same as the others. These are clearly the quarters where those who are not being magically sustained in pods are sleeping and Mm. spending their nights. Sixteen. Sixteen? Uh-huh. You look around and you don't pull the room apart, but you do have ranger senses. You do have a way of inhabiting a space and sort of thinking through how mm, tracks are made almost. You think about where you would, and you look down and you think about the corners of the room and sure enough, just where you put your hand, you were able to pull a small bronze ring. Does not look like something an Illithid would wear, but it looks like a, a wedding band. Something precious to someone sometime. Who knows when, who knows where. And you hold it in your hand, pondering. Hmm. I'll be... Yeah, yeah, I mean, does this make any sense? Yeah, you, can, you can hear the, the crashes and, and, and breaking of wood. You can hear the, the ruffling of, of Barnabas as you all are trying to, perhaps quietly even, uh, um, make your way I'll, through um, these quarters. If we, if I hear that, I'll quickly hop out and rush over to the room he's in. Barnabas, you need to keep it down. You're going to alert them to our presence if you keep this up. And uh, as I'll listen to her and I'll stop and I'll say, oh, you just makes me mad in the, the, the parchment beneath the pillow, class eight, passing each other notes. And I'll, and I'll open it and I'll, and I'll see the, the, it's an, an elf illustrated. Yeah. Beautifully. Yeah. And I'll just stop and I'll look. 
Is it bust or is it like full body elf? It's bust. What's going on out there? <laughs> and oh. I think that anyone would be able to look at this and see yeah. that it was drawn with love. Did you guys find anything else? Or at all? Well. There, there is a problem now. What do you mean problem? <laughs> Perhaps these illithid are prisoners in their own bodies. Did you find their personal effects? I found an effect drawn by a lover. The second he says that, I didn't really like tear anything apart. I'm going to start looking around the room to see if I find anything similar. Make an investigation check. Ooh! These beautiful dice. Ooh, oh, nah, 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 God, nah. rolling hot. Uh, 21. 21. Nice. Um, you delicately make your way through the room, and with your height, you can see uh, uh, everything, uh, the corners, the shelves, uh, you start to uh, uh, pull the, the pillows off, and then you think, oh, yes, I will reach down and into the corners of the pillows. Perhaps there's there's more uh, uh, hidden clues uh, that there are um, two minds in these millith- uh, these illithid. Uh, you, you pull the, the, the sheets up, heeding Queenie's words to be quiet, and uh, uh, lift lift up one bed and then the other. Uh, you feel very confident that um, if there are any elephant that sleep in this room and make these beds, that they uh, do not have a uh, uh, an escape. Oh, like Nothing this, in this, like this photo might have might afford. You think these are trinkets from before? They were turned to Illithid. Trinkets of a past life. I know the care that was used to draw that portrait, Mr. Fire Blossom. It's one of a heart who can only picture a lover through fading memory, never able to see or hear or touch her ever again. And that, for a creature like that to be able to produce this, what a horrific existence. I'll join them. Uh, It is a metamorphosis, but perhaps a slow one. Ah, cats. It could mean that they have not lost all of what they were. But they will in due time. They are gone. These are ghosts of the past. And there's there's really nothing to prove that this is this belongs to them there's nothing saying that these didn't come from people that they've killed people they've feasted upon I hope you're right Miss March but regardless of all that that's not who they are anymore that person the person who drew that and I hold up the ring the person who wore this ring they're long dead what lives inside of those bodies now? They're monsters. Well, we don't know that. We don't know anything for sure. And these are rooms here. These aren't the pods. These are not the spaces of captives, but of people who lived here. Were we watching the same thing that day? When we watched them perform the lottery? Yes, I saw what they did. That's why we're here to stop them. Yo, the if they were in my mind, they don't get another chance at the life they took away from all of those people. The hundreds of people that are above our heads right now who've been trapped here living the life they've been forced to live so that these people had food. They could have been a good person in life. And whatever happened to them might have been horrible and forced upon them. 
But what they're doing, they will pay for. I'm not saying we don't hold them accountable. But are you saying that there's an, if there's another way, if there's a way to turn them back, we kill them regardless because of what they've done. And there are others in pods that have had nothing to do with what we saw out there. Only five took place in that, that we know of. That we know of. And we're to be executioners to them? Oh, why you gotta and, point at me? All right, hey, and we're there, to be yeah, executioners on, of them? I, I'm, I'm gonna say something. Well, he's going good with a knife. I'm, I'm gonna say something that... I want you to think about this. I know you've got a big heart, Tashi. And I know that... I, me personally, I'm not sure I trust Ket. But just in case, Ket is right. He said they're very, very intelligent. What makes you think they didn't plant these things here to, to prey on our feelings? Knowing that humanoids like us are caring, thoughtful beings. Okay, you we, could have pointed at me then. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, caring, heartful, lovely. That would have been a good time to point you at Scrim. Are, Scrim. Oh, thank you, Queenie. I appreciate that. That's why that. you're one of my best friends. Oh, stop well, it. And a very skilled fisherman yeah. at that, Mr. Staviscoach. I've seen your form. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't mean to cut you off. Please keep no, going. No, that's okay. When I picked up this ring, my heart hurt for the person who used to wear it. But we cannot trust our minds right now. We cannot trust that the way the ship is set up was not intentional to prey on us and the way we think. They know things about us. They knew that they could say what they did to try and scare us and to manipulate us, and we don't know if that's what this is. Could Ket not just be a part of the ship as it was set up to greet us? No, he could. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if I trust him. Oh, I'm definitely with Quinny on that one. I don't trust that guy at I, all. I hope to, and I keep, I'm keeping my mind open, but I'm not 100% trusting him. Yep. The only people I know I can trust are the four of y'all. The look in his eyes or was the look of someone who would do anything to achieve his ends. And for what it's worth, when I you know, got a glimpse of what was going on inside, he was more curious than anything. It wasn't any kind of murderous intent towards us, anger towards us, betrayal. It was curiosity. And I, I just want to remind us, the door was left open. They knew we were coming. Oy. They were prepared for us. And I don't think they're I don't think they're just gonna meet us with sword and shield. I think the fight started the moment we walked up to that gate. We can't trust anything we see in this place. Because if they truly are mind something or others, then the way they fight is unlike anything we've experienced before in our lives. Here, here. Oim. Seconded. I agree. Mr. Yornir, you've been awfully quiet. He's angry. He's filled with rage. I mean, just look at his face. <laughs> Usually you're providing wide count wise counsel. And my chaotic, conflicted feelings right now, thrashing about like the sea, could at least achieve somewhat stiller waters. Can they butterfly that enjoyed a life crawling on the ground choose to return to the simpler time can the frog freezing in the winter mud wish to go back to the spring days as a tadpole Damn, that was deep. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Yornir, you've made your point. Thank you for your wisdom. Holy crap. These are inevitabilities. The frog did not choose. The butterfly did not choose. But this elf may not have chosen. His son certainly did not choose. But there is no going back. You really are angry, you are near. This is unnatural. And I sense in the weird that they mean to 
harmed in natural order. We were placed here to prevent that. That is my fate. I have faith in that. You're really freaking me out here, going. I'm, I'm worried any minute you're going to turn to me and be like, Scrim, do you want to know the exact date and time of your death? And I, I cannot handle that right now, Yornir. This I cannot see. <sighs> Yet. <laughs> Don't joke about that, Taishen. <laughs> Wait until my level eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss <laughs> March. Yeah? Would you mind holding on to that drawing of that young elf lass? I will. Oh, yeah, thank you. I think the kindest thing we could do, if worse comes to worse, when all is said and done, we bury them with their trinkets. And hopefully, whoever she is, will see her lover again in death. Oh, and maybe we'll find her and let her know what happened to her beloved. Maybe. If she still lives. But I suppose, regardless of whatever their fate may hold, whatever the torture of the mind in that octopus head, it all goes to the brain. The ogres had the humans as cattle. The illithid had the ogres as cattle, perhaps. The brain is the same with them. This elder brain, you mean? Aye. Eh. It's up. Our new friend, whether or not we can trust him, is up, but you look like a banana and bananas fleet off banana. scurvy. <laughs> you think that if we it's a good omen. It's kill good the elder brain, there's a chance it could release them? Mr. Fireblossom, I hate to say this, but I will be frank. I think it's a greater chance that it will just kill them. But better than an eternal torment the mind trapped in another all right well if we're going up then we just need to be aware of traps i mean you know if we don't trust this guy as much as i would like to we could be sending us off into a trap so just you know keep your wits about you all right Oi. why don't we choose one then perhaps the we go up the uh chute connected to the quarters of our young lover you have the, the six options of the quarters to go up as shoots and mm-hmm. you have the uh two sides of the walls that are connected oh, up uh so. the ladders that that take you up i think we're thinking of uh room number two where barnabas is on the left side well let's get out the next level <gasps> oh, that's oh my go. gosh oh my gosh this is gonna be a long nap. So this is gonna be. Oh, it's the, like the long guys. boy. Keep your, keep your. Uh, no, no, you can get them off. You can get them okay, off. Okay, more. But I'm gonna put this. If we can slide this. Ooh, it's got a little sticky for some reason. That's me. I think it's just con- condensation from the seltzers. There, that, that is. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, Whoa. Pretty good, actually. All right, the registration marks connect with these indentations. Oh, my God. So what a you can legend. see that there's a connection here between these walls and that these, uh, uh, oh, they don't actually line up. So let's just do it that way. Fuck, Derek. You're such <laughs> yeah. an idiot. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're not oh, as good at drawing maps as you think. God damn what a, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, square. Oh, oh I'm square. Derek. What is it, amateur yeah. hour? Man, my maps so don't hard. look like a penis. Shit. I'm so great. <laughs> Shit. All right. Yeah, we can't. Well, they don't line up, do they? We can't even no, play no, find no, the no, penis. No, no, no. It's been so long since we've done that. So we are approaching. We're coming right up there. Uh, you're coming up that one? Yeah. Okay. Um, do we want to have like an order we go up? Yes. I'm first. Yes, we do want to have an order that we go up. Oh, so the, 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 I'd be right behind Barnabas. Per, per, per the module. I'll be, I'll be dead middle. Per the module. Per the module. Um, yeah. the, the first person who ascends gets the description and then the rest of you, of you uh, guys. All right, Barnabas, just be careful when you stick your head up there. I, and my aquatic transformation is... Me embracing my nature, not suppressing it. 
as I oh god as I fucking ergot my crab legs up. You find that you don't need the handholds. You're able to literally use the sides of this tube to make your way. And up. so I'm trying to stay hyper aware, and I'm using the cleaver um, to kind of like poke ahead at the. And before the cleaver hits the uh, the the opening, uh, just as with the doors. <laughs> The, oh, oh my god! It startles me every time. <laughs> the the uh, the um, opening <laughs> expands, and you're able to make your way through and out. As oh, yeah. you ascend from the depths of the lower deck, you find a space dedicated to maintenance and work. The air of the workshop is thick with the hum of the ship and the smell of strange oils and alien crafts. The walls are lined with shelves holding a variety of tools, devices, machinery. On one side of the room sits a forge-like furnace. On another side are a series of tables where you can see freshly made psionic wands and bangles. Along Ooh. another wall of the workshop, a strange apparatus catches your eye. It appears to be a musical instrument. Similar to a small pipe organ, a multitude of pneumatic pedals lie at the base. Two long rows of keys curve outwards like an inverted smile. An unusual series of pipes are mounted to the body of the organ, radiating outwards like the spines of some exotic sea creature. The pedals move up and down. The keys seem to press down on their own in shifting patterns. Haunting, ethereal music emits from the pipes, but the sound does not share the same timber that would emit from wood or metal <laughs> or glass. Instead, it produces a clear vocalization sound, like a choir of singers. Does it I'll increase the volume. Okay. Um, Chad has a really good question, though. Are those wands the... Um the bangle schmangle. This bangle schmangle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all, all of the ones that I described in the description are the ogre ones. Perfect. Does this seem to be the bangle origin schmangle. of the like vocal song we've been hearing? Yes, it's coming from this organ. And is it self-playing? It's self-playing at this point. Uh. I also posted a picture <laughs> of what the organ looks like exactly into the discord <laughs> so here's the Whoa, organ oh, here's a variety of different machinery that's unknown you can see the different openings in the floor you can see a forge you can see the organ itself you can see all kinds of strange uh, uh, things yeah wands and bangles wands and bangles okay wands and bangles and opposite in the center you see those four tables the un opposite the unnerving organ, you see a series of tables, a space like a laboratory. These? Mm -hmm. Yes. The tables are busy and cluttered, and all manner of strange equipment, probes, and delicate measuring devices can be seen. The focus of these devices is clear. Weapons, armors, objects, artifacts, the very same items that have been stolen from you when you arrived in Ogerton. I'm... Oh, wow. It's all our stuff? Only Barnabas sees as he peeks <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> up to the floor and, and it first sees the organ, sees the workshop to his right, and sees four tables directly in front of him. And on those tables, you can see leaning against one an anchor. You can see a box that you know is filled with unlimited ancient estuary. And surely somewhere in there could be your shell. My lover. I'm just going to say, our effects! And I'm going to heave myself out and just rush, not caring at all about what's there, to grab my anchor and, uh, like, with one hand, as I'm just rifling through looking for, for my You shell. rush forward and, and my, my I will say you grab your, your anchor and the rest of you see Barnabas go from peeking to diving forward. You hear him yell out, my effects. Who's next in line? Me. You uh, uh, scramble up and you see exactly oh, these, these same things. Uh, Barnabas seems already to have his hand on your anchor and you spy all of the things. Uh, uh, a bag of gold. Uh, uh, you can there should only be three things. <laughs> uh, I don't have them all. Bag on. of gold, uh, a lockpick set, and then the Organite. 
Uh, you see at least two of those things. You don't see them Argonite, but everything oh, is sort of on. Seriously? Well, no, 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 no. Just, just because it's okay. so busy okay. with okay. all of the different okay. things that are on top of this, these okay. things, you, you don't, you don't immediately spy it, but you suspect that all of your things are okay. there, and you race forward. Who's next? Could be me. You, you, Taishen, you pop up. Uh, you're already starting to put your your flask in uh, 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 into your robes, and you and you recognize that your your um, personal gear, your armor, is right in front of you. I would just look for one thing. I would look for the teapot. Uh, I won't even make you roll for it. You see on one corner the, the teapot <gasps> uh, uh, being suspended with a small candle underneath, sort of giving it a, a try of, of, of sorts. Oh, I, I just rush forward. I rush straight ahead. You race forward, and you're able to grab it, and you are observing and looking at this artifact <sighs> as this music plays and swells around you. Uh, who's next? Queen. Queenie. Queenie. No, you're last. You're, you're near. You're last. Yeah. I'm shorter though. Yeah, I'd be, I, would, I would be last. Okay, well, I'm not gonna rush towards anything. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna find a wall and just kind of like back up into it and just watch. You get back and you just watch as your friends are pulling uh, their effects uh, lovingly, clutching them to their body, trying to find new uh, uh, pockets, uh, uh, trying to find uh, uh, new spaces to, to maybe maybe even perhaps uh, taking a, a, a half of a robe off. I'm You're dancing near. around my sack of gold. You, you, you pull yourself up and you see of three of your friends uh, e- ecstatic. Elysian, uh, uh, having having had their th- uh, gear found re- re- restored to them, and you can see uh, Queenie's hesitation. What do you do? I start to come up. Do I see my tusks? Leaning against one side of a table, you see on the far side your tusks. You can see the top of them. Uh, I will immediately feel this weight lifted off of my chest as I will pull myself up and just... I won't rush, but I'll kind of, you know... Um, power walk over to where I think it is and start looking for it's the most urgently you've ever moved yeah. <laughs> you race forward and power walk and the uh, four of you are surrounding this t- table I need you to put yourself where you are would be around the table and Queenie up against the wall the fa- the closest proximity to my shell and my flask yeah I'm just gonna say that my stuff was the kind of in this corner over here I'm, I'd be looking for the only, the only thing I would definitely be looking for is that, that power uh, just do that corner oh right uh, make an investigation the, check the, the organite um, this is the organ I think that, yeah, no, no, the organ is in the, the center middle. of the back. The organ is yeah, in the yeah. middle. Yeah, you can be right there. Ooh, she's no. suspicious. I got a three. I am suspicious. With a three, oh, wait, you're, you're, you're scrambling, but there's so oh, many things. Oh, I uh, the there, there, there are dozens of items oh. to pour through. You, you're pulling like coils of rope and letting them fall to the ground. You're um, um, finding water skins that you remember uh, your companions have had for ages. You, you're, you're pulling uh, all of these things around, and you re- uh, and j- before you can continue to investigate further, the organ stops, and all of you look at each other for a moment in quiet silence. When you hear a voice, a voice of many, a voice uh, singular, all in all of your heads. And though the music has stopped, it's as though you are thinking it. It doesn't reverberate in your ears. It's a thought that occurs in your mind. You were warned. And sitting at the organ is a mind flayer. This, uh, uh, now, now, no longer shielding itself with invisibility. And you look around and up into the room, and you can see them there levitating 20, 30 feet up in this space, <laughs> looking down at you, robes uh, uh, falling around oh, their feet. No. I need you all to roll for initiative. Yeah. Oh! Amazing. Uh, I'm going to have my least favorite moment of the, of the night right now, is that Derek missed the opportunity to say... I don't know how else to say this. You see a mind flare. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's really no other way to say this. There's well, no other way to um, say I'm this. I'm going to use my uh, spell, and we're going to have advantage. Can you <laughs> Another advantage? Oh, we have advantage? Oh, my God. Yeah, you stole um, all my dice luck. I'm using it's all way to you. First strike, so. Okay, I've rolled this guy four times, and three of them have been out of the I just got a natural one. <laughs> I oh. literally... Oh, you got two. Oh, teams. and a six. I might actually have a supper one, but. Oh, man. Oh. All right. It's because it's bad luck to roll before the game starts. Well, nobody else is getting bad luck. <laughs> it's because I just haven't been very. Uh, I haven't said what I rolled yet, mate. So. <laughs> Do I get. Spe- oh, I don't get a special initiative thing until like level eight or something as a, bar- as a uh, barbarian. 
Yeah, I don't think I have anything. Does it say A next to? Oh, check for a green. Well, she well, I mean, I already I advantage. Gave advantage. Everything. But oh, I, I do not oh, believe. Doesn't matter, so yeah. He doesn't have an A regardless. No. I used first strike. That's such a fun spell. I love it. Look at this. We might be. Can the camera even get these guys? That's so wild. I don't know. You oh, might have to lift it up and give him a little like look see look see, but this is gonna be a fun combat. Oh, I actually have to run combat now. Shit. <laughs> Holy oh. cow. Alright, uh so the way the table works is if you said that you'd grabbed it, it's now on your person. A free object interaction will grab anything that you remember from your old equipment if you can find it. It might require like a DC ten investigation depending on the item. Uh but um generally speaking, you can use your turn to go to the table and grab something that was yours that you do not have on your person because it was taken from you. And with that being said, uh, 20 to 30, anyone, for initiative? 23. 23. Nice. 23. Wow. Oh, my God. I'll go last. Uh, I'll let Queen go first. Yeah, I'll go first. Thanks. Nine. One of the perks of being a, a ranger. Uh, 23. <laughs> I mean a rabbit folk. <laughs> Would you roll? Three. Uh, Barnard, are you going first? With advantage, the other one. No, Queen's one. going first. I so also rolled a one and a six. Okay. Lit. So we need to move these over like this. I shan't got a nine and I got a seven. And then... <laughs> I don't know how to track these fuckers. We don't. We don't. We don't have ways to know who's one, two, three, four, or five because we're not using tokens because we're we're starting to use minis. Um, hmm. So I forgot to do that. Uh, do we have a paint pen, like a silver paint pen? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. Because if I, we can write silver, the numbers um, on the maybe the rim of the base or yeah, is they underside. Um, I don't they know if they're flat are on the underside. these pens. Or on the block at least. Are. Um, well, they're not all on blogs. Acrylic oh. paint pens. So you've got green, light reach? blue, very pale pink. The yeah. lightest. Can you write on the bottom? Orange. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, well, they're you not all flat. See it, flat. Oh, I didn't know if they were. Uh, I figured it would just be better than like. I can always paint over it. Whatever you feel like. Why don't you just instead of writing a number, just do hash marks? Oh, that's a good like, idea. Like you know, you just do it on their robes. Which one should be one, Derek? Do you have a preference? Do the um, one on the ground, the one playing the piano. Uh, yeah, I would like it to be Organ Man, you would say. <sighs> oh, boy, Tyshin. All you have to do is poke the... Uh... The organ, you if you didn't see it, it is basically the uh, from the Iron Maiden single Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> no, it's actually not the song you're thinking of. <laughs> actually predates the musical. That's right, it does. What song? Family Opera. Iron Maiden. Yeah, Iron Maiden. Yeah. Yeah. Bear with us while we set up combat. One moment. I can't remember. It's like eerily quiet. It is eerily quiet. After Family Opera, after three hours of college. So the Blade Runner one is somewhere in time. There's also no. one that's super yeah, super later, super later, later. Uh, Oh, Final Frontier. Yeah, yeah, oh, Final, yeah, yeah. Frontier. Final Frontier. Yeah, yeah. Final Frontier. Okay, give me that. Oh, Final it's, Frontier. It's, it's silver, we have silver Sharpies, don't we? Are they the all downstairs? Final Frontier. All downstairs. Oh, that, that, uh, that, that mark will work. It's just so big. I'm going to try to be gentle here. Do dots, then. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, like epic duels. Ooh, yeah. Epic yeah. duels. Huh? Great comparison. Epic duels did a great job, is all I'm saying. <laughs> we could all learn... I need to get like a padded mat, like you have to yeah, flip these yeah. onto. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I don't know where my land, my but... fire elmo is, so I gotta. I gotta we need to find figure out what the equivalent of your yeah, fire elmo means. Yeah, I'd love yeah. it for your character. Agreed. All right. Uh, do we have a one, two, three, four, five? Everybody's uh, oh, he's, oh, he's working on I'm it. I'm working but... on it. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. Hold, hold for 30 seconds. Battle is loading. Battle is loading. Battle is loading. Battle is loading. You know, I always like that Hans Zimmer. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dead Man's Chest has one of the greatest film scores of all time. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean 2, uh, Dead Man's Chest, I think it like, has, you know, it's the... Oh, oh, he's fine. He's fine. 
Okay, so think of these like Roman numerals where the dots are the ones and the oh, lo- the line is a is a V. Dot so dash. It's you just tell me. Yes. Dot I'll dash. Dash. <laughs> so it's gonna be dot 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 dash dash. I feel like you could have just done one one two one two three one two three four. One, two, three, we did four, that, five, but we dots. just made it dot dash dash. So just having five dots five. just seems a little. Busy. I don't know. You know I mean? Dot dash is a little. That seems like a dash. five. Yes, Epic we'll duels out. did it. That's all I'm saying. That's a five. You know what I mean? Is that how they did it with dots and dashes? Uh, no, they just did like eight, they five did dots, like six do- oh. dashes. Yeah, yeah. Or like it's, hashes. It's, it's just busy. <laughs> it's busy. All right, there it is, folks. Oh, you. What did you guys get? Twenty three. 20, we all got 20. We're the 23 club. Jesus. 23 and oh, me. Isn't 23 club? Oh, it's the 28 club. 23 and that. You guys, you guys rolled real the well. 23 is the convention. The Disney convention. That's right. Uh, uh, Mace, we're in trouble. Queenie. <laughs> yeah. oh. Me. I get to go first. It is your turn. You uh, see these ab- uh, aberrations suddenly appear, and you realize they were what you were sensing when you used your innate ranger sense. Uh, the panic in your the eyes of your friends as they all dart around, the sudden silence, aside from the humming and thrumming of this ship, uh, overtakes you, and your adrenal gland dumps as you immediately go into fight-or-flight mode. What do you do? So, my first question is, I don't remember what inventory items I had before they were taken off of okay. my list. Do you have a list of what Queenie is missing? Yes. What is Queenie missing? Let me see if I can find that real quick. Certainly your bow. Well, your bow. Well, yeah. Right? Uh, you have a bow um, because you Daisy gifted you one. I'm actually going to pause the music until we actually get into combat. Combat, one moment. Um, Queenie lost. Wow. It's fucking 30 pages ago. Uh, introduced some cat meowmers. <laughs> Inventory. Queenie. You lost one fey flower seeds, one honey pot, 18 arrows, one bedroll, one uh, heart of the uh, Desert Jasper um, uh, oh. Heralds of Fear, uh, one dagger, one leather armor, one longbow, one 50 foot hep- hemp and rope, one tinder box, one water skin, one spell scroll of beeline, and one component pouch. Okay. Um, I. Can I use my entire turn to get my my bow and arrows, my uh, seeds, and my honey pot? Yeah. Yeah, you can use your movement to get up to that, and uh, you can grab all of those things. Yeah, that's what I'll do with my turn. And you can, like, leap, right? You can, like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I'll just put it in the middle here. And you just on the table. And, you just go uh, and uh, could could I include the Jasper in that since I'm using my full turn to do it? Uh, let's do a, a quick investigation check because um, that's more than the actions that you would normally have. Uh, can I twist it? Yeah. I'm gonna use two twists. Ooh, got it. Oh, oh thank God that I used was really two good. Uh, 18 plus 5, 23. Nice. I needed a 20. You're, you've got the Jasper. Perfect. Okay. Oh. You find all of these things, and you are able to very dexterously and quickly grab them and uh, start to uh, notch uh, an arrow, perhaps, for your next turn. But Barnabas, you're up. Does it look like if I attempted to smash one with my anchor, I could attempt to get him down to the floor? Each one of those squares is 10 feet of elevation. That is a... So all they're of 30 them, feet in the air. 30 feet in the air. Boy, good thing I got... That's the Admiral's funny. Feast at Red Lobster. <laughs> They're next to the walls, right? They are. I, uh, I'll, uh, gra- having, uh, gotten my shell and my anchor and, and my, my flask is in my person, and, and I see all of the, the illithid, I will look at the shell and I'll just go, I, I will for you, my love. And I'll put my shell down and I will, uh, turn and start skittering up the walls with my crab legs. Uh, I'm coming for you, beastie! And uh, I'm, I am can get up. Yeah, that's plenty of movement, right? That, yeah, that's, so I'm going to basically... You only have to move five here. Yeah, and then I'm just going to skitter up to directly beneath him. That's what those cubes are for. Yeah. So you only need 30 total movement then. Yeah. 
I'm gonna skitter directly beneath him and just swing in oh. with my oh, beneath him. anchor. Yeah, just as long as he's within five feet, right? Because it's yeah. five feet and then 25 feet up the wall, so nice. you don't need 30 yeah. feet moving, you get it. Oh, sorry. Uh, you swing in with your anchor? Uh, yeah, I'm, I am recklessly attacking. Uh, as, uh, of course, my uh, seawater... Um, oh, I need to decide. Seawater... Um, uh, drenches me, and I'm covered in barnacles and uh, and sea life. As I am going to take the form of... I need to decide. I'm going to take the form of a classic crab claw. Gotta go with... For this fight, I gotta go... Yeah, go my, my, yeah my, my, nice. my arm. As uh, I will get the official uh, crab claw. That is going oh. to be a heavy hit. Um, that is going to be a uh, what, lot. what number is uh, the one that uh, you're attacking? I think that's five. Yes. Uh, d- yeah, it's just five. dash. Five. Just a yep. dash. That will be a 26 to hit. That does hit. Nice. Uh, I'm going to... Oi, there. Hold on there. Uh, so that is... Uh, so it's just... Uh, seven plus seven is 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, do I get the sense that as I smash into it that um, I'm able to like try to knock it down? Yes, you do get that sense. Okay. Um, you you uh, uh, stab into it, and uh, the momentary um, uh, attack it's surprise at your ability to skitter up the wall and even make purchase, so to speak. Uh, it, it, uh, you you basically like slash into it and pull it down, and it falls like a, a like a pile of bricks hitting the ground. Whoa! Hell yeah! Uh, nice job. Is it prone? Yeah. Get wrecked. There's. Yeah, it just falls all the way to the ground. Correct. Yeah, yep. and as and it, I see it, it, it does, it does seem to take some damage from the fall. As I as it falls to the ground, uh, I'll grin. And I'll say, "Oh, you really are just a bag of tentacles and seawater." As I'm going to just uh, vault myself off of the wall and come down with my anchor for my second attack. Nice. Oh. Jesus. <sighs> That's gonna be a uh, a twenty to hit. A twenty does the hit. Classic yeah. looking Barnabas of the anchor. Go oh, you there. Come here, beastie. Let's pump this. Yeah. Not great. Uh, that is going to be th- ten points of bludgeoning damage. Ten points of blud- bludgeoning damage. And I believe that is all I get. Yep. Okay. Five takes it. Um, you do not hear sounds emitting from its mouth. These creatures seem to be fighting in complete silence, or at least this one is. And uh, that is the conclusion of your turn. You're near, you're up. Do I get a sense that these guys use a Vantra style psionics or Derek style psionics? <laughs> uh, if we had run what a this question. <laughs> before the pandemic paused the campaign, it would have been Derek style psionics more than it is Evantra style psionics. And I guess I, I would ask what you mean. What I mean is that I have a spell that could potentially makes them, makes it difficult for them to concentrate on things. Oh. That's too meta. I'm going to no, cast a different spell. I, I, I will say uh, it, it, it is too meta, but yeah. uh, concentration is still a thing in psionics. Okay. That's good to know. I'm still, you know, I'm still gonna try to stay true in this moment. I think he would just do the classic. He's he's an Arctic, you know, he's an Arctic druid. Yep. Um, I throw a snowball. Did I get a chance to strap the the tusks? You'd on have me? had time at okay. this point. The tusks so I, are I, on, the tusks I, are just on your back, I but I would say that's just, all you've been able to do. And then I would probably taken my shield off in a free object interaction to pick my shield back up and get it on. And uh, I'm going to uh, wave my hand, and uh, you will see this sort of chill wind blow through, and there's sort of ice and almost bits of hail will uh, start to whip through this room. And in a 40-foot cube, wow! and I believe if they're 30 feet off the ground... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it literally fits this exact cube, so it can hit all of them except this guy. I'm gonna cast all but one. All but one. Uh, Why can it? Why can it hit five and not the others? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So think of it as literally a cube that's forty feet by forty. Then let me ask you this: Does it hit your allies? Uh, I can choose. I can choose who it affects. 
And uh, Yalter Timer, well, I cast ice around six creatures <laughs> of my choice. Old man, go. Yeah, so um, as the wind whips around, you all don't feel any cold, but they start to chill and feel the the ice and snow of the Arctic, and they need to make a whiz 16 saving throw. Okay. Uh, give me the numbers. Uh, number two. Two, three, four, and five. Whiz 16? Yep. I, it's like I don't have it right here. Uh, succeeds uh, three. Three, yep. Succeeds. Okay, four. Succeeds like crazy. Five. Uh, wow, I rolled really well. They all succeed. Does it do anything then? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't think so. That's Fuck. it. Nice try. They're right. very wise! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good try. That was a great effort. Thank you. If it had worked, it would have been clutch. Uh, do, you do, do, do you do anything else with your turn? I guess I could turn to like a walrus or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Somebody literally mentioned that today. Yeah. yeah. In, in like the uh, in one of the channels. Oh, better luck next time. You can be, try to beat me in the ranks. <laughs> um, I could do that. So oh like, no, it's a, it's an action because I'm not a moon druid, right? Yeah, no, I can't. Uh, I pass my turn, Kaiba. Okay. Uh, where's number one? At the piano, right here. At the piano? The organ. Can he hit everyone with a 60-foot cone? Yeah. Uh, Unless it starts mm, off too thin and gets wider. One, two, two, three. No, he would have to... He would have to to pick your near or... Yeah, he He could get over here and get the four of us, or he could, like, get over all the way over here and hit us. Oh, he should... Yeah, he... Easily. He could easily get in front of Yornir and hit all of us if he wanted to. Yeah, if, if he wants to get right here, he could hit all of us. Could he hit everyone if he were up above and spotlight them? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. And in a like really here? cool and epic manner, he's going to levitate <laughs> because they fucking do that, which is why there are no stairs in this goddamn map, by the way. Why would you have stairs in a Mind Flayer ship for creatures that can levitate? He goes up 30 feet, and he pours down, and you can see the other Mind Flayers are uh, perhaps looking at him and contributing uh, some additional psionic energy. Uh, a purple blast immediately emits it, you you realize it's probably not a visual sensation you're seeing it in your mind but also through your eyes as you look up at this creature and it it reminds you of the initial time that you met with Manius in the uh, hot springs and he was able to put you to sleep it's the same terrible and great psionic energy i need everybody to make a intelligent saving throw oh, no is it fair to ask what <laughs> level spell this is it is an ability. Oh, okay, so... Ooh, Natty 20! Mm, that gives me a 21, baby! Okay, you succeed. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna twist, if that's cool. Yeah, okay. yeah me too. Me too. Me too. I'll, take, uh, take I'll, I'll twist. Yeah. I'll one twist. I'll one twist. Until so we figure out what five. they're doing. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Thank you, Derek. Good, good plan. Well, you got a 17. Might not be good enough. What was it? In save? Yeah. Yeah. Ten. I got a sixteen. Oh, it's because I'm not using Barnabas's dice. Fourteen. Being punished. All right, everyone who got less than a seventeen. Yeah. Damn it! Yeah. 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 Oh, seventeen uh, just hits it. Yeah. <sighs> I need D eight. Just one moment. <gasps> <Well>. <laughs> I think we just we we're all going to the points. library. We're all going to the library. Oh no! This is bad news. Get your library cards. There's a giant owl that comes up and says, "I am talking, even though my beak is just doing this because beaks are difficult to animate." You, Do you mean to steal from those the of library? Those who failed takes 16 points of psychic damage, and you're oh. stunned for one minute. You oh, can repeat oh. the saving throw at the start of each of your turns. Oh, okay. start start. Oh, okay. I don't do end of your turn bullshit. I will never do it does that. Suck when your end whole of your turn is yeah. for yeah, shit. It it's bad. sort of like crit you confirming get... where like you have to fail twice for it to actually affect End of your turn yeah. is horseshit. I will never, ever, 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 ever do that in this campaign or any other. Psychic, I think that's say. a good yes. rule. That's actually like that. fair. Resisting. I think I'm going to consider that. I, like I think it. that's fair. Because it, it's, it does feel bad. It's really fun yeah. to tactically roll and beat the saving throw and then be like, oh shit, what am I doing on my turn? Yeah. Yeah. There's a fun there's a fun hope there that like otherwise you're just like, oh it's That's my turn. That's really nice. 
I guess I I succeed. End of my turn. Like yeah. even succeed feels bad that's, when that's when it's true. end of your turn. That is true. So sure. that being said, uh, think, three of you are I now follow suit. stunned for one minute, and you can repeat it at the start of your turn. And oh, uh, I'm gonna roll a d5 suit. to see if that ability recharges for the creature. Oh, it fails. Oh. Uh, can you give me the dunce cap? My, uh, <laughs> Where is it? It's behind you. Yeah, the dunce, the dunce hat is right, right behind you. In the you. chair, the jail. The timeout. It's on the timeout chair. It's right, right in front there. of us. Literally right behind you. Oh, I want to get both of them. Oh, because my die deserves to be in on the, the yeah, king. Yeah, on the yeah, 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 it really does. Yeah, well, mine has rolled three natural ones. And so I needed oh, wow. to know it's a bad, Sorry. bad Leroy Brown. It's all good. I need the some of that energy over here. Campaign. Gosh, I, I haven't been using anything. A crowning ceremony do, do, do. real quick. My... You know what we could use? Beautiful Condition time. rings. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so... oh. oh. If you'll hand me full paralyzed. Stunned, I got... You know what? Find four stun for me. You're the man. Is it, is it, stunned. Is it paralyzed it's or stunned? stunned. It's stunned. stunned. Yeah. It's stunned. Um, so who's stunned? I Everybody am. but... I am. Oh, no, just you and me or not? Oh. Yeah, it's bad. Wait, so only three people are stunned. Yeah. Yeah. This is so fucking cool. Two. Where's number two? Number two's right here. Number two. That's your near's baby. Yeah. Uh, okay, he reaches Here out, Three stuns. and uh, you feel a spike Placing. of pain in your mind as it attempts to infiltrate. I need you to make a intelligence saving throw. To whom? Me. For your oh. That's fucking amazing. Uh, oh, well, now I gotta get my little guy out off his throne here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on back, Your Honor. Oh, no, I was gloating. <laughs> you I failed. You shouldn't uh, have crowned him king. You got hubris. Twist it. Uh, twist one twist. Just one twist. Twist too deep. We need you. I am proficient in in saving throws. We need you back. Now. That's close. That's 15. That's okay. not. That's okay, not. you take. Uh, I'm resistant to You take to all two psychic, psychic damage. damage. Iron resistance. Two? Like two psychic damage. damage. Oh. And you're going to subtract 1d4 from the next saving throw you make, which happens now because that was its bonus action. It reaches down and, <laughs> uh, and you need to make a constitution saving throw Minus as 24. it attempts to slam you into the into the hard, cold, metal, chitinous uh, okay. floor. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, this might actually be decent. So uh, 14 plus 7 is 21. Minus 1 is a 20. Nice. Hmm. You succeed, which means you only take half of Quarters. 13 points of psychic damage. So six points. And then half again. Oh, and then, oh. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah it would have been half so of a, three points. Right, 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 right. Amazing. Thank uh, you, little uh, it, That's what it? it does. Where's three? Uh, three is, yep. Up there. Three is there. That's Scrim's baby. Oh, get out of here. Uh, you feel the same spike that Yornir felt. You have no way of knowing that Yornir does, but he's suddenly hit and like <laughs> clearly grappling uh, 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 Gandalf and Saruman uh, breakdancing style with <laughs> some sort of psychic energy. I need you to make an intelligent saving throw. Come on, 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 come on. Oh. 17? That just passed. Yes! Oh! The smartest goblin on the planet. So you do, you do not experience mind rabble. However, yeah. uh, he still is out for blood, and uh, he is going to attempt to push and shove you. You feel uh, 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 almost like when a um, you are able to telekinetically grab a rock and yeah. hurl rock. He is attempting to hurl scrim. Uh, you need to make a strength saving oh. throw. God, you're picking the ones I suck at. Telekinesis. That's so cool. Natural fucking 20. Woo! 20! No plus! Twisted red. Oh. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. 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 We've been twisting a lot. That's yeah. the point. It's, it it's, it's, it's a balance. Do it again. 11. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going like, to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you take uh, five points of four damage. Yep. Uh, five points of force damage, and damn it, I didn't get to look for my stone. I'm not gonna be near the table anymore. Uh, Fuck. You are pushed thirty feet towards me. Oh my gosh. You literally got Gandalf. Ah! Do I land prone? Uh, yes, you do. I, I crash amongst the table and all of the wands and bangles and scientific supplies. Yeah. As I land on a table and slide across it. Ah! Yeah, you're looking up at the top of the uh, uh, of, a, of a table now, and uh, it hurt. It hurt a lot. Um, 
That's its turn, and that's going to bring me to four. Where's four? Uh, this guy. That guy. <laughs> Please don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's going to levitate and hover, um, getting close to his friend that Barnabas has taken down. How many squares? Uh, he can move normal speed at, at in a levitational way. He's going to move literally to the square adjacent to where it's falling. He yeah. can easily reach yeah, that. Yep, yep, yep. And he's going to look down at Barnabas. Uh, you feel a pinch in your mind. It's almost like when a sudden migraine or headache comes on. I need to make it. Uh, need you to make a intelligence saving throw. Wait, this where it ends. Natural oh, 20. Oh, oh, oh. You were able to resist the ability. 21. However, um, uh, can you back can you back him up to so that he's over the hole? Uh, th- right here. Yeah, yeah, sure. You uh, feel a strange shift, uh, 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 almost as though um, you are being uh, plunged into water or perhaps being pushed out of it. It's hard to describe exactly what's happening. I need to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, you're getting shunted, bro. I know that all too well. Here comes the void shunt. <laughs> Why does that sound so familiar? <laughs> I love that. Wisdom, you say? I do. 15. <gasps> 15 fails. You swap places with the, the Mind Flayer. Oh, no. <laughs> Goodbye, Barnabas. <laughs> Am I being shunted off to a different part of the ship? But he, the elevation is also remains. So all of a sudden, Barnabas is 30 feet up. And then and the mind player is standing on the ground where Sorry, Barnabas was. Pardon my reach. Do I have the opportunity to attempt to grab onto the wall with my grab legs? You're about to, oh. because otherwise you're going to fall. And not just fall, fall, but fall through the portal that he has put <laughs> you over. And so I'm going to have you make a dexterity saving throw to see if you can attempt to slow your speed as you scrabble out in, 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 in space, uh, falling for what will be... Uh, 50 feet. My crubber senses tingling. <laughs> I get an advantage on a dexterity saving throw with danger sense. Right. Oh. I don't know. Is that are you too high enough? Are you seven? Isn't it? It's I, six, right? Oh, it would I, say that you're saving. I'm not sure. You, you essentially. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you got it. You can see. You essentially have popped into the air. So your ability to grab onto the wall is only going to take. Uh, have the damage, you're still gonna make the fall. You're not gonna be able to grab it. Okay, got it. All like oh, scratching. Yeah, it's just you, yeah. It's down. like a pirate who sticks his uh, blade in and rides the sail exactly, down. Exactly. Yes! Look at that! Ooh, uh, Dex, that will be an 18. I'll give it to you. Nice. I'll scrape down with my crab claws, landing hard still, uh, and trying to skitter away from the portal if I'm able I'm to. I'm not gonna roll the yeah. 46 damage that you would take, so do 46 damage and have it to yourself. Roger that. Is that half from, from succeeding? 4d6. Take, add up 46 damage and then take half that damage. And then half because I'm raging. Yep. Oh yeah. Yes. Nice. So all right. All right. <laughs> Fucking barbarians. I like how I like how happy Derek gets when we thwart things with our yeah. abilities. It's like, oh yeah, cool. Well, all yeah. Right. I keep forgetting about stuff. Don't worry, I don't take half of anything. I so. uh, yeah, well, uh, you'll die soon. Yeah, all right. Three damage. <laughs> Twist it. I mean, I don't know how plus one. I have to roll a yeah, 16. So twist it. Twist it. Uh, I'll twist it Thanks, twice. Thanks, uh, Chad. I'll twist it twice. twice. Two Stretch. more twists. Stretch. If it's a stun, if it's a stun, we should like it. Yeah. 17. Ah, uh, here. You need this more than Well, I, I got a 13. Yeah. <laughs> Taishen, you are um, your mind vibrates. Me too. <laughs> you so you, uh, you, you are, are are shocked by this uh, uh, expression. Perhaps you thought you could negotiate with these creatures, and <laughs> they are so silent, and they are clearly uh, aiming to kill your friends. And it's not just that sudden uncertainty that you feel about your present situation and the way that you wanted to diplomatically approach the situation, but the raw power is unlike anything that you've ever experienced. You are a very grounded uh, individual, and this is a space unknown to you. You can't move, you can't speak. Do I take damage? 
Oh, no, no, no. No, it's you not, just okay. remain yeah, stunned yeah, yeah. until your next turn where you'll attempt to do, uh, uh, survive that again. Scrim, cool. you're up. Um, I will use half my movement to stand up. Um, as I'm doing so, I will say, no, 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 I can't die here. I cannot die here. And I will look up to number three, and uh, I hear the gnashing, gnawing, growling in the back of my mind as I wave my hand and Hexblade's curse uh, this creature, knowing what will await me if I die. Um, and uh, because I can't reach this creature, um. once I feel the Hexblade's curse land, I launch Eldritch Blast from my the same hand. <laughs> Uh, it's two beams, so I have to make two attacks. Yep, and that's against uh, what number? This is uh, number three, who's okay. this guy right over here. Um, it, it just adds to damage rolls, score critical hit on 19 or 20. Okay, uh, so I'm going to roll Eldr two Eldritch Blast attacks, uh, 20 to hit. That hits. The second one will be a 18. It's not a 19, but it's going to be a 26 to hit. So they both hit. They both hit. So close. Um, I will use Fury of the Small on one of them and roll D10s for both. So it's going to be... Uh, let me do this. Let me do this. Fury of the Small. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Ooh. Well, I rolled bad and great. I got a 10 on one and 11, I don't know, and one on the other. Um, so that's going to be 11 plus 6 is 17 points of damage uh, to this creature. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, plus that, three, total? sorry. 11 plus 6 is 17 plus 3, 20 total. 20 total because of, of, of the uh, Eldritch, uh, or the Hexblade's Curse. Okay, okay. So, yeah, that's it. That's my whole turn. Uh, it turns and looks at you with furious anger, its strange eyes immediately locking with yours, and you can tell as it takes a reaction that it's going to attempt to make some additional thing. You having hit it, it rebukes, and I need my to make an intelligence saving throw. Okay. <sighs> we didn't roll uh, any intelligence four. classes. <laughs> you take... <laughs> An additional four points of psychic damage as something uh, 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 spikes ah, through and in, into your eh, mind, and you eh. can't take a reaction. You've lost your reaction. Oh, son of a gun! Okay, that's my turn. Okay, uh, that's the conclusion of your turn. Uh, where's five? What's five going doing? Five, five? is the one, is the one that swapped with. Uh, oh, no, yeah, five prone, is prone. prone five, yeah. five is prone. Five will use half his movement up. to stand up. Okay. I mean, I should really have made a rule that if, if you can fucking float, you should just be like without <laughs> having to use your happy, yeah, whatever. But anyway. You can do that. You use um, five feet of movement. Yeah, it's never too no, late. No, the no, god no, of the no. world. I play the thing that I wrote. Um, Barnabas, you're technically in the bedroom down on the lower floor. Oh, okay, yeah. You fell through yeah. you fell through the thing and as the as you fell the hatch opened. And <laughs> <laughs> how does it know? Um It's gonna look at you, Queenie. Is it is the hatch closed? No, it opened. It it, it, so would, it would slowly close okay. eventually, but it's open. Um it's gonna look at you, Queenie, and it's going to God, I'm so close to that crit, man. Damn yeah, it. Yeah, one point off. It feels so good I know. when you have like the oh. slightly alternate crits and you hit it. Yeah. You're like, ah! Agreed. Uh, I'm going to go back to the... Because I think that's a barbarian thing, too. I think you get brutal critical. Yeah. Brutal critical is an extra... Um, it, uh, it reaches out, oh, and so there, is, there is another. There's thing that something does that. where you get like really? glory okay. paladin. You get a bigger wider uh, cha uh, champion fighter. It's going to definitely hit once, and I don't know about over here. Uh, I assume twenty-one hits also. To whom? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, whom still? Hold on. Uh, to Queenie. That's gonna be. Wrong. It's reaching out and, and attempting to do a psionic blast. It's just, it's just attempting to hurt you. My AC was messed up too. I don't know. Yeah. I have to figure this out really quickly. Yep. Take your time. Um. Thanks for the new dice, by the way. These are rolling real hot. Your AC should be like 16 or 17. Well, it's only 22. No. Yeah! <laughs> you're actually just like armored rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> you're a mecha. You're, yeah. like, you're like that, uh, um, 
Uh, what's the the space one where the guy's really smart and it's like a crazy cartoon with the kid? Yeah. Yeah. Rick no, and Morty? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get the, I, they get I the would never in a million on? years have guessed that based on your description. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> the, crazy the space one the, with the crazy yeah. smart guy and yeah, the little kid. Yeah, that's some that's perfect pretty description. Good. <laughs> that's I, exactly what it is. I just love your description. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good, man. Yeah, that's the one where they go back to like the purge yes. time and oh, they get geez. the they get the killer suit. You've never seen it? Oh, no, the killer suit. My AC is 17. 17. Okay, so 21. Both hit. You take nine points of psychic damage as these uh, uh, purple rays smash into you, uh, crashing against you. The fact that I'm stunned doesn't make that even worse. Nope. No. Uh, It just sucks. Um, So that that slams into you, and that's the conclusion of its turn. It's your turn. Great. Uh, I'm going to try. Twist it. Can I two twists? Two twists, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's probably. I got a yeah. 17. Yeah, 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 that'll do it. I want to see what the next one was. Was it two? <laughs> nice. So, um, yeah, that would have been a 19. That succeeds. My brain's mine. Perfect. Uh, it perhaps is the pain, but you're able to shake it off, and now you have agency. These are amazing. Perfect. Can I use my free object interaction yeah, to cool. grab my spell scroll of beeline? Yes. Perfect. So I've got that. I stick it. I stick it to my side. Um. And oh, moving around them when they're in the air like this, is that opportunity attacks? Ooh. No, only if you move within five feet and then leave within five feet. So you'd be able to pass underneath them if that's what, you, if you're, that's what you're asking. Okay. So I want to walk to the little hole that Barnabas had been sucked down into. Sure. Um, and I want to look down you'd into it. You'd have to it. hop. Do you have your hop? Huh? You'd have to yeah. hop. She hasn't hopped. No, she hopped to get to the tables. Why would I? Why would I have to use my hop to get there if well, I could walk under them? Oh yeah, one and a Yeah, you can just oh. use some normal movement. You see, you can get like here. Oh no, you I, can I wasn't here. prone. Yeah. No, I have my full movement. Diagonal. Well, what, 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 what's your speed? Thirty. Um, my speed is thirty-five. Thirty-five. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're good. Okay, so I want to get there, and then I'm going to use my Jasper. To I believe it's my Jasper. Sorry, I'm going to use my Jasper. That's a filthy Jasper. As a um. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's a deep cut. I'm going yeah. to use my bonus action you know, to you know. summon a swarm of bees that take the shape of a um, take the shape of a hand. <laughs> and because of my uh, my bee swarm. Yeah, that's that what's there. Jasper uses. I can use this on creatures. How much do you weigh, Barnabas? Mm. Oh, yeah, that's not quite polite. I probably weigh. Uh, I probably weigh in like the low three hundreds. Okay. Yeah. Probably well, low mid three hundreds. Yeah. Never mind. That's not going to help you. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to use them because it can be used on objects. Yeah. I want to use it to keep the vent open so Barnabas can get back up. Oh. Because if you weigh two hundred and fifty or less. Uh, I could oh, yeah. But you're, yeah. you're kind of huge. Oh, too many um, visits to the Red Lobster, unfortunately. So kind of Barbara's be lighter than me if that was the case. The, the vent open with the hand. Yeah. Okay. I can do yeah, that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, I will say if you least. want to do something else. You know that this vent isn't gonna, isn't going to close. There's zero risk that. Oh, even, I, even I thought if you it said does, it was slowly closing. No, no, no. Even if it does close, it as soon as Barnabas gets close to it, it's just a proxy. All of these doors are Walmart. I don't, I don't understand sci-fi stuff. All of these doors are Walmart. Are, are, doors okay. are Walmart. No, no, no. I'm, I'm a fantasy. <laughs> I want to make Walmart sure that doors. that's totally clear. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fantasy girl. So you've, stuff you've, make you've any still got like a fist of bees if you want to like punch something, or you've got your ability to use arrows. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the fist of bees to go towards. To the, beast the one that's right there um, by Tai Shen. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to grab him and throw him down onto the ground. That's number one, I believe. Okay. With my bees. How, Wait, how am I too fat for big I bees? I mean, it's not going to do any damage, just puts him on the ground. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, I can move him 60 feet. <laughs> no! <laughs> Let's do a strength uh, saving throw on his end to see if uh, you Yes, can... he has to make a. Um... It's a contest. I just uh, edited yes. this episode of Shredania. Mm. He needs to make either a strength or a dexterity yeah. saving throw against my DC. He gets a 16. Which I think is higher than my DC. Yeah. Well, no, the, you you make a roll too, right? No. If he's, uh, he makes a saving throw. If it's throw. a contest, it's... It's uh, not a contest. It's like, not. How, it's, your, how, it's your DC. How, how it it's works is against okay. my DC. Okay, so it's not literally um, And so it's 15 is, it is my DC. It's, it's, it's a Jasper. Oh. It's a Jasper. Um, but that's my bonus action, so it's not really a big deal. Um, he's now, he has a bunch of 
spiritual bees just stinging the shit out of him, doing no damage. But it's best. It's best. No, no, no. It's but it really sucks. He, he doesn't like it. Yeah. And it's in his ear and it's kind of distracting him yeah. as uh, I'm going to let loose um, two arrows into his head. You like Ooh. jazz organ? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the arrows come then. That's That sucks. <laughs> Uh, Not the bees. What number is he? Uh, what number are you attacking? Uh, number one. Still number one. Uh, and that's going to be twenty to hit for the first arrow. That hits. Ooh. And eighteen to hit for the second. That hits. Nice. Uh, Only I could get in melee range. That would be lovely. <laughs> Instead, I'm getting yeeted across the room. <laughs> so funny. Um, uh, twenty-three points of uh, yeah, we'll damage. It's all good. Damn. Okay. We have an idea. Um, actually. Both arrows sink into him, and uh, he looks at you. His eyes lock with you, and uh, you can see that this has hurt it a great deal. It is uh, attempting to um, push the pain away from its mind, and it lashes out at yours. Uh, I need to make an intelligence saving throw. I love that all of these guys have like uh, thirteen. Damage. This is so thirteen. Cool. Uh, you take. We're getting mind blast. We're getting mind sh- one shunted. point of psychic damage, and you do not get a reaction until the end of your next turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's feels Spartabus. You're up. How uh, high is it to get up to Queenie's that'll level? That'll be that'll be twenty feet of movement. Uh, so I can make it to these. Oh, you can't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> Part of me is smart. Yeah! Bursting up yeah. through the, the, the tunnel. Hole. Yeah. As I am bursting up, angry. And wet. You I'm just, just crawl up over this mark. Yeah, crawl up over. I mean, and, she's not big, so like yeah. she shoots two arrows, and then all of a sudden, like a giant insanity Barnabas leaps over, like a uh, like a free willy moment, very much. Yeah, <laughs> I'm attacking recklessly. That'll be a twenty uh, nice. six to hit. That hits. Big and then oh, uh, this guy's going down. I'm just gonna roll another. I'm gonna roll another. Uh, roll another. <laughs> this record. is on number five again. So the one that already got clapped is about to get clapped harder. Folks, I gotta say, I got a natural 20 on the second one. Oh! And I crush his his tentacly flesh. Um, So that'll be one, two, three, four, and then just another d6, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I, I double the, I double the dice. So this would be one. You double the dice that you roll, yeah. 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 And then I need two more d6s for the second. Let's see, you have some arm with you with that. Oh, I love that sound. Not bad. Ooh. That's good money. Yeah. That's 12, money. 22, um, 22, uh, 25, 27. Wow. 14 is, uh, what is that? That's 40. Uh, 27 plus 41. 14. 41. Yeah. 41 points of bludgeoning damage on the one that's in front of me. Number five. Number five. Nice. And uh, he is the crusher. I'm, I crush his weak, squishy, illithid body. And all attacks against him are uh, <gasps> advantaged. Uh, oh. Until. Uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, that's yep. Yeah. Yep, until the I end just, of my next turn. I gotta yeah. focus on one that's already been cursed. I gotta take that motherfucker down. I don't wanna switch targets. You're welcome to run back down the chute, my friend! It doesn't say anything. It just looks at you and does one of these. Um, you're near. Oh God! He's uh, filled with hope. I can feel it. Uh, Dungeon Master, while well, uh, I, I, I vamp uh, for Richie. Yeah. Um, does it kind of? Does it seem from what I saw of the Illithids schlooping mm-hmm. old priestmen? Yep. Um, does this seem different? Like more robotic? More like? I don't know. Do they seem off? Do they seem different? Given what I saw in the chamber below. What have we seen in the chamber below? The uh, drawing of the beautiful elf woman. Oh. oh. Nothing seems particularly inconsistent. It does feel like you're fighting the five who showed up at the lottery, if that's what you mean. So I'm just saying, if I, I'm trying to decide if Barnabas would think to tell Queenie to like throw up the fucking, show them the picture of the oh. elf and see if it, if, if it's just like we just need to murder these guys, that's fine. But Those like, I, sorts of inferences are things you can certainly try. Okay. Uh, whether or not that would be significant, I'm not going to reveal. Is that a like? 
was that something that was extremely significant to the mind flayer or yeah, was know, that something yeah. that like happens to be a pattern that it's thinking about its mind flayer life like there's no uh, way yeah, to know. I'm way too I'm too happy I got my shell back and I'm, you, I'm here full to of kill. rage and I'm here water. to kill yeah yeah exactly uh okay how tall is the ceiling of this place just about 30 feet where they're where they're where so they're, they're at the very top yeah Oh boy! <laughs> Whenever Richie gets stalactites grow yeah. from the ceiling, uh, okay. piercing them. First, they pass all of their sight. I've never wanted to be Felix more. <laughs> I know. Oh, that would be so fucking yes. sexy. Oh. Yeah. What? What is that spell? Reverse gravity. Reverse gravity. Which would do anything Reverse that's gravity. floating. Things that float go down. Things that go down go up. The storm oh. that had been whipping up and kind of freezing and chilling them gets stronger and stronger and stronger and the hail gets heavier and heavier and heavier as it almost gets so thick with snow and sleet. It's like the background of the snow levels from Donkey Kong Country. Run. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> thick. Uh, Gorilla it's, Glacier, if you will. Gorilla Glacier. Yeah, yeah, where great world. It becomes obscured and it's this massive swirling snowstorm and it's just 10 feet above us. I will cast Sleet Storm. Nice. <gasps> it is a 40-foot oh, radius centered in Holy the middle shit. here. And it's literally from the top of the massive. ceiling, 20 feet down, and across this entire area. It's heavily obscured. They need to make deck saving throws. If they fail, they fall prone. Oh, if that's they start good. their turn there, they have to do it again. And the creature must make a con save uh, if they're maintaining concentration. And nice. if they start their turn there or lose concentration. So okay. it's worth noting, though, that if they don't fall... If we make ranged attacks on them, it'll be a disadvantage. Right? Correct. Okay. But, but we're, we're also to they can't down. see through. Yeah. So, so they also way. can't see. Goes both ways. So probably sense our brains though. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, know. you're good. Yeah. I love it. The it wasn't intro. supposed to be hail today. Fucking WTOP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Fucking weathermen. <laughs> Tell me what, which ones are affected in what order, and I'll roll their uh, dexterity well, saving throw. Actually, everybody but. Uh, Everybody but one, five. Two, three, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. All right, so. let's do one first. Uh, dexterity, you say? Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a four. He, fail, he falls pro. Oh, they suck at gym class. Let's go. Uh, so, natural 20. Okay, two passes, uh, three. So he lands prone. Uh, seven. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! So does prone me mean they fall? Is that how that prone works? Prone means they fall. Okay. <laughs> Get, get right, you shitty mind flare, you little bitch. Let's go. And where's my other? Where I my believe D, D6 go. Oh, here. All right. One passed. Uh, I think um, all right. So uh, one failed and three failed, right? Yeah. Correct. Two, two, two fucking look Let's like, go. Like, do they take full so damage? Two's know. looking like Christmas morning. Uh, yeah. He do, takes. Hold on. Do, I, yeah, yeah. Presents falling from the sky. For oh, him. he's got a gift. And then. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just calculating Damn the fall damage. Initiative. Holy shit, these dice roll well. They are taking tremendous amounts of fall damage. <laughs> uh, what is that? It's. This, this oh, thing. my fucking illicit leg. <laughs> they, they, uh, all their brains are so heavy at <laughs> Oregon. Yeah, they fall yeah. under their heads. And <laughs> die. <laughs> Sophilith. <laughs> I'm contractually obligated to say <laughs> my fucking tentacles. Well done. <laughs> my um, fucking they, tentacles. They both fall out of the sky, uh, crusted with ice, and they slam into the floor. Neither of them falling through a porthole. Mm, I don't think. Scrim, oh, this is your no. destiny. Prone is good. Mm. I need to make the saving throw to make sure I'm not stunned. So we're gonna have to rewind that if I fail. Oh well, no, you gotta use your twist. You were stunned. What? You were like stunned, stunned from well, the mind blast. I you pass. Okay. okay. I'm good. Yeah, he didn't do the check at the beginning. I forgot to do the check. That would have been, been a fair. horrible we rewind. Yeah. That would have yeah. been the worst We're rewind good. in Queen's history. Queen's the only one that remembered. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, well, you only would have had to put them back up in the air. Yeah. And then whatever uh, you did over there. Yeah, yeah, all of this shit. Did they take fall damage? Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to look real quick to see if I can find my stone. Okay. Stone. Make a uh, perception check. My stone didn't do anything for me in combat right now. Mine was so good for this guy. Oh, yeah. Perception is Mine helps a me in short 19. rests. Mm. A 19? Yeah. Uh, you see the stone. Uh, it's AC, right next to Taishan. I will use my movement to go over and grab it. I would say you'd need to go around. Around? Okay. You should have enough just, movement. Just, right? to, game, just to game state it. I think you've got plenty of movement, but you have so to go around. Here. 
And then we're going to group it up nice and easy. It's like for the him. high school lab tables. <laughs> They're uh, quite tall. You snatch it off I the table. I will snatch it. And I will say, to continue the lesson of the tadpole and the toad, I will throw it as a bonus action. And uh, the... Please make it a giant toad. Uh, I don't even know what he does, but I'm so hold excited. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, a, this is like the, my favorite item that I've ever had. At night, uh, when the lake is a mirror. Is it the ro- your rock? Yeah, yeah. it's my stone. Oh. I can expand the use of my wild shape to, tra- to transform the shit stone into the shape of a beast I've seen before. The shit stone! <laughs> Holy <laughs> yeah, shit frog! frog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, uh, appearing in the square adjacent to me. Uh, if the space where the creature would have appeared is occupied by other creatures or objects, or if there isn't enough space uh, for the creature, the stone is in the creature, and, uh, and the use of the wild shape is expended. No, I should have. I should have space. So I, oh, yeah, well, left and you guys right? got useful abilities in your stone. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should. You should so I, I would move here and use it. It's here. fucking insane. Yours is the gamble one. It has one, to be right? in the space next to you, right? Yeah. 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 Sort of here, uh, and I will use it. Absorb spells. Oh, yeah, don't you have to gamble like something to see like whether you can use it or, or not? You, or you basically just, have to risk. You have to get hit by you the have spell. To, you yeah, have to yeah, accept yeah. that you'll fail the throw, but you right. have a chance of. It's like absorb yeah, elements. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but yeah. I before I could grab that, I couldn't find it. Then the combat started, and they yeeted me away from the table. <laughs> so I'll, so pick, my, with that. I'll pick up my Jasper, and it magically oh, nice, transforms dude. into like a carved stone, brown like toad. <laughs> and it'll grow and grow and grow <laughs> and <laughs> oh, that actually will <gasps> emerge yes! a giant toad, toad. <laughs> a giant shit toad, <laughs> brown, gloppy. Sl- sl- uh, that toad. actually reminds me in, in, in my it. world of Toad Isle of the great <laughs> black oily black stone statue. Tell of that toad. toad that I love it. Uh, I love it. And you'll go. <laughs> That's a great Bollywood impression. He yeah. will then. Let's see what he can do. His speed, standing leap. The toad's long jump is twenty feet, and its high jump is ten feet without a running start. So he's literally gonna go, fall, leap over here, and he's going to uh, bite. He'll, I guess, he'll like shoot his tongue out and like bite down on the uh, prone. Which boy. number is that? That is number three. Three. Nobody else will get this, but I'm picturing the Azure Waltz. <laughs> this, oh, oh, no, it's literally, yeah. it's literally one of those. Yeah. It's literally one of those. The elephant just calmly steps out of the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a massive circle indicator on the ground. He's like, oh, okay. That was super easy to dodge. Too bad it's prone. <laughs> That's got to be good. One of them's got to be good. Unless you're attacking with advantage just for one attack. That's got to be good. That, you think so? I don't know. What is it? It's, it's 16. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Oh, 16. Should I, should I twist it? Do we know what Thirsty is? Twist it, twist it, twist it. 16 hits, but I don't This is metagame Mikey guy. knowing what a giant toad does. I'm fucking twisting. twist it. I'm twisting. No, no dice. So 16 does the 16 hit? It hits. Oh! oh fucking God. <laughs> okay, so it's going to do uh, 1d10 plus 2. So that's uh, 6 points of piercing damage plus 1d10 poison damage. Uh, so seven points of poison damage, and the target is grappled. Until this grapple ends, the target's restrained. The toad can't bite another target. Uh, if he's restrained, can he get up? He can still get up. Fuck! No, uh, no, if he's restrained. Oh, maybe not. No, he can't move. Oh, he can't even, he's moving in zero. You're right, yeah. he can't get up. Yeah. He can't spend his movement. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Well, and if he's being restrained, you would have advantage either way. Uh, let me just make sure that I can only do one of these. Yeah, it's just one. Just one. Okay. I was looking at our last combat uh, to see if I could turn to a giant toad, and I can't yet. <laughs> That's so incredible. Okay, so he used his tongue, and he literally wrapped the uh, elephant up, and he's chomping on him, and now he just has him in his mouth, and it's like eyes are kind of crossed. He's like Pierre, and he stops by the organ and says, Sing once again with me, <laughs> a strange <laughs> duet. You um, uh, do this, and the toad does that, and it is now absolutely like holding the entire uh, elephant's body in its mouth, uh, and it is looking down at it, and uh, looking sort of up at you guys, and then making Making a calculated decision about what it wants to do next. That's the end of your turn. That's the end of my turn. Where's number one? Uh, uh, number one is the old, is on the ground. He's prone, prone right here, next to Taishan. By the and tables. Yeah. 
Is he going to provoke an attack of opportunity if he gets up and levitates up into the air? Uh, no. It would be closest I mean, to me and I'm stuck. I don't, th- I don't think so. No. Yeah, and I, I, yeah, and he's not in range of me. I don't think he's going to do that. I think that he's going to get behind Queenie. So he's going to use his movement to stand up. Yep. Like here? What's his movement? Uh, thirty feet. So can he? Can he get? Uh, can he get? Uh, maybe one, not. two. Nah, he could go here. He can still get in melee range with Queenie. Cause she's in this space, but not like behind her, just in front of her, kind of ish. Uh, bring her, bring, bring him back to, to where he was. My apologies. It's okay. No, I'm lining up ready. for an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> Calamari. Yeah, Barnabas is like, come to me. Yeah. <laughs> Please stay in a single file yeah. line. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, classic I would barbarian love a single yeah. file line. If they would just line up. Please, this alley is only five feet wide. Every <laughs> commoner in this town would have to filter into a single file line, and I, your room, will murder them one by one. One by one. <laughs> uh, Queenie, are you still stunned? No. no. She passed on her turn. Is anyone the only stunned? one still stunned? Uh, yes. You're the only no, one. I'm stunned. Yeah. Yeah. stunned. Yep. We gotta double twist you, man. I said, listen, I did it last time. Did- is he the one who doesn't have a hand? Who doesn't have a hand? Oh, I uh, know. This is the guy that uh, number Taisha, five, five doesn't, doesn't have, have a hand. hand. Who's Barnabas is just an absolute wailing one. Hey, is this right no here? pun intended, or actually no pun intended. He had one when I printed it, but I ripped it off with the supports. <laughs> you mean Tai Shen destroyed? Okay, it. he he is like, going to do the thirty feet straight up thing. Gonna He's going like, to levitate 30 feet straight up. Okay, uh, he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, because he's entering. Well, he wouldn't do that because it's, it's <laughs> That's fine. That's, That's fine. They're I'm smart. Just, I'm just saying they're yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. smart. Okay. Um, you can go 10 feet up in the air. No. I, Weather sure is strange these days. That's a very cool ability. I hope like, the king like don't the, fall ill. The three-dimensionality of this Stay fight is very cool. <laughs> My thought is if there are 10 squares this way... Even if we're on the ground, we could still hit them, right? Like if we have five feet, five feet. Have you heard? He's going to move towards the frog. Cube? Towards the frog. No, not Mr. Frog. But he's just moving there to be with his Jason. ally. Okay. Oh, what are they? What are they doing? They're and, doing something. And like then this. he is something going to. Uh, you feel a pinch in your mind, Queenie. Make an intelligence saving throw. Oh. I you take five points of psychic damage and you subtract a 1d4 from your next saving throw, which comes now. Make a <laughs> intelligent saving throw again as he it's a mind reaches sliver. out. Bonus action mind, mind sliver, folks. Uh, this DC 17, you sure? Yeah. I subtracted five from a seven. I mean, it was a 1d4. Minus d4. Oh, wait, huh? It's 1d minus 1d4. 1d4 minus your saving Some, throw. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's a bonus action, well, mind sliver, seven, folks. Yeah. But I rolled a seven, so I just subtracted four, so it's a three. Yeah, that's still <laughs> do, pretty do you rough. Think I that's passed? still pretty rough. I do not think you passed. Okay. Uh, you do asking. take right on the line, though. Right on the line. Uh, you take three additional points of psychic damage, and you cannot suddenly the shadows sink in around you. All of this chaos in all directions being what it is, uh, they they seem to expand like a fog <laughs> of war, and you can't see ten feet in any direction in a sphere. Oh, all around no. you. Okay. Don't you? I, I'm gonna go. Okay. You better stay away from me, Elephants. <laughs> Scrim better get an un. Uh, that's turn. number one's turn. Two. Two. This guy. Who is in the air. And he's getting halted by sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Ah, uh, does, does, something happen, does something happen to him? Well, if he's concentrating on a spell, yes, but if not, just a deck saving throw. Or else he'll plummet to his. But he'll do the deck saving throw then. Yeah, I'll do the deck saving throw. Uh, oh, he fails. Fuck. And he falls prone. He falls prone. This is clutch. This is you and your coming in clutch. Uh, and so Ow, that's going ton. to be. And that's My number two, legs. you say? Five. Our fucking legs. We, we should have had a. He falls. He lands. He immediately skips up onto his uh, feet <laughs> and he attempts to mind slam you once again. Man, uh, he, before he does so, there. make an intelligent saving throw. He's going to attempt to ravel your mind to open it to his psionic ways. Well, Come would on. he have fallen through the portal? No, he's he, right next he, to us. He can float. 
But he fell. He got knocked out of the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking of it like the harpies from Witcher 3 where they just fall and then they land and then they... Ah. It's not... It doesn't, no, it's fine. Uh-huh. Yeah. If, he, if, he, if he hit a porthole, he'd go through the porthole. Well, he, he hit, hit a porthole. porthole. Then he goes through the fucking porthole. <laughs> oh uh, Let's go. Uh, yeah. Goodbye. You've been void. <laughs> <laughs> we should have had a more robust intramural sports program. He gets up. He floats up and he makes it back to the top of the porthole uh, and he makes it up to the. Like, he has, he's got more than enough movement back. to get back to like just in front of the porthole. So he's standing on the porthole. No, he's moved. He's moved five oh, feet and went toward, to towards you, your oh. He has enough to get there. Ten and then five. Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay. <sighs> so he lands. He takes an additional amount of damage for that. Uh, Falling little, fifty feet. Yeah, yeah. That was three, <laughs> right? Yeah. So he Thank fell you. forty no, feet. No, no, no. That was two. Yeah, two two fell two fell forty feet. That was two. Thank you. Run, Three is, is feet, restrained right? and prone. There's thirty feet in okay. the air. I, I took the damage. Oh, it is twenty feet down. It is fifty yeah. feet. Yeah. Down. Fifty feet. That's my point. I took the additional damage. Holy shit! And now you're near. He's fucking pissed I off. I would like to twist this. Make yeah. an intelligent saving throw. Twist it. He falls on. Ah! Natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are loaded. It's a good one. Thank uh, you. He's sitting in the he's sitting in the throne here. Let's he's, go. Crown that bitch. He still attempts to mind slam Mind-y. you. Make a Constitution saving throw. Look at this. He's like mo money, mo problems. The yeah, die. Yeah. <laughs> Suffering from success over yeah. here. Heavy is the head. That's right. No. Uh, this is his bonus. Action. Come to the king. Right. Best not miss. Baby. I fail. Oh no, really? With a natural twenty? No, no, no. no. I, oh. I passed the first one. Oh, uh, I, f- I, f- I'll, I'll take this one. It's a ten. Did they Sixteen give points of psychic uh, <laughs> force damage uh, oh, as force. you are pushed and crushed down by an invisible hand, almost out of nothing. A psionic blast. You are you are knocked prone. As the Shit. wind gets knocked out of you effectively. Just remember you're prone if you don't want to be uh, Use the now. prone is condition. A, is there a prone condition? Probably. In the lovely they're, rings. They're, I'm going to give it to you to look at. They're a bit yeah. hard to read. You just got to try to find uh, the right one. Well, three three one the hand the guy. Oh, I didn't even see that. God, I'm dumb. <laughs> Where is three? Is three in the mouth? Uh, three is, that was is prone three and... No, that was two. Oh. Three is prone and uh, restrained by the frog. Yeah, three is restrained by old Mr. Frog there. It goes feral. It does not have uh, uh, some psionic ability. It panics. In the mouth, uh, 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 being tra- uh, claustrophobically trapped in the way that it is, it reaches out, and you can see for the first time the long tentacles that are stretched out from its face, from its mouth, gra- attempt to grapple the, the frog back. Oh, my God. He's going to slurp its fucking frog stone brain. Uh, that's going to be a 22 to hit the giant frog. You know, I think Derek that hit. probably hits. As long as he doesn't get up, I don't care. Don't get up. You stay down. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> oh, stay no. Down. oh, no. Mr. Uh, Frog it's gonna puts take... you on the ground and you'll stay there. <laughs> um, it's going to take 15 points of psychic damage oh. as it grabs on and starts to uh, charge it with its innate uh, mental abilities. It is now grappled, grappling the giant toad back. They oh, are. In a it, it, it is like an alligator uh, uh, attacking an electric eel. It's a bad, my mind's it's bad news for everybody. I need my concentration check. Oh. Honestly, because I took hooked on phonics. Wait, it. Why would you make the concentration check? Because I took damage by being crushed towards the ground. Thank you. Uh, I good game state. Well, well game stated. And that's the conclusion of oh, its turn. Wow. Uh, that's gonna go to four. Which is this guy all the way over here, behind number five, that's been getting his cheeks clapped. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid sexy Barnabas and his giant ass cheeks have been clapping the ass cheeks of number five. I am the one who claps! <laughs> it's, just, it's just they're just clapping each other's ass cheeks. There's a lot of clapping going on. His bread free will split order! He's just going to uh, uh, launch two uh, blasts uh, of psychic imagine. energy in by uh, Barnabas' direction. One's going to be a natural one, but the other's going to be out of the fucking stratosphere. So you take. Um, uh, six points of force damage. Me? Yep. Oh, you're not resistant to that. Uh, that be, uh, it's turn, Taishen, you're up. Well, <laughs> welcome oh, to the fight, maybe. Oh, well, well. 
You can do it. Uh, oh, 15. No, 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 we're tw- double twisting. We're double, double, twist we're double twisting. Double twist it. Uh, oh, like God. 45. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I come, on, come on, come on, come on. I twist my tennis. Don't. But I'm... Mace! Oh, man. Did you do twice? I did it three times. Okay. I'll roll four more times. Why, why do, when I get you into a condition, do you never ever save? It's okay. You, well, take well it's hard treatment. being only a plus one. You have to roll it's really well. It's brutal, but the yeah. Herald of Fear took care of you too. Yeah. It's really brutal. Uh, I don't think the, the fear thing only gave me AC. No, when it possessed your body and, you, and like, oh, like the entire yeah, game I was like just gone. operating yeah. your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Scrim, you're up. I see the juicy target that is number three that is oh, restrained yeah. and hexed. And I go absolutely <laughs> goblin mode. Then he's grappling. As I dash at this mofo. <laughs> well, not actually dash, mechanic dash. 30 feet. And making multiple two attacks with a brutal blade, I repeatedly try to stab this thing to death as quickly as I possibly can. Yeah, like like Shank style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Prison, prison, <laughs> shank. <laughs> prison shank. Him. Isn't there some movie or show where like that? That's I'm, tra- like, I'm reminded of something. Uh, goblin can I twist mode. That? What are you talking? You're advantaged. He's restrained. Thank you. Okay, so this is my first attack. Natural twenty. Ah, go goblin mode, <laughs> and I make my second attack. Oh yes! Uh, an advantage. That one misses, but it's okay. I have to roll this a billion times. Hold on. That's three, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, plus 5 is 21 points of damage with the Brutal Blade. <laughs> you stab into him and chunks in. Wait, 24 total. 24 total? Yeah, I forgot the 3 from the Hex Blade's Curse. You can also do Fury in the Small. Too, I already right? did it. Oh, yeah, okay, just making sure. Uh, uh, you do a tremendous amount of damage to this Mind Flayer. You are stabbing into it, and uh, even though you feel like you're doing chunks of damage, what sustains the life of this creature is clearly its uh, mind. You stab into the body over and over and over again, and it's bloodied, but it is hanging on. All right, that's my turn. Did you see how hard he stabbed his body? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Top of the round, this is five. It's five. Where's five? Uh, Oh, bottom of the round. Five is right here. Bottom of the round. Five. What's what's he doing? He's, he's just standing. standing he's standing Barnabas. over a porthole. He's standing over a porthole. Is he right? Is he right next to Barnabas? A portal. He's yeah. directly in five feet next to Barnabas. He uh, looks at his shriveled, burnt hand and wants to exact <gasps> vengeance on Tai Shen, but there are more pressing nightmare crab men he's next to him. Over there. <laughs> and he. Oi, what are you thinking there? Off we call it. This, for the first time in this entire uh, time, he first of all, you feel that pinch in the back of your mind. Uh, make an intelligence saving throw. Me. Oh no. Like one perceptive frog. <laughs> this passive perception, perception's eighteen. May I? Oh, I would like to use one twist for this. One twist. One twist. I'm being mind slivered. Mm. I fail. You fail. Maybe you, I'm not. Big. You take. Six points of psychic damage, uh, and you will subtract 1d4 from this next attack, uh, or rather the saving throw, and in your mind you hear a voice. Grovel. Oh, come on. Yep. Did I fail that? Uh, and I'm going to have to look at the rules for Grovel real quick, because I know that it is a thing. He basically skips. Command, I drop my, my anchor. You just do and it. I fall pro. You must yeah. succeed a wisdom saving throw or follow that command on your next turn. So that's w- like a full. That, yeah, that's really that's a great CC. Am I wise? I don't think I am. <laughs> I don't think I am. I'm going to use one twist. Yeah. It was fake. <laughs> I drop my shit. Oh, forgive me! Oh, I am not worthy! And that brings us up to the top of the round, and I'm going to actually ask that we take a quick coffee break right now. Let's I know that we're in the middle of, co- of combat, but <clears throat> I need a I, need I love a, breaks I need during coffee. Yeah. You love breaks during coffee?
off with Queenie? Uh, top of the top round. Of the Queenie. Round. Okay. Oh, um. So I have this swirling, like, psychic fog around me. I can't see anything. Yeah, uh, only you can only see within ten feet. But if you move, you'll be able to see things as they so emerge. I shoot the the guy. So I can guy. see that guy. Yes. Yeah, because he's within ten feet of me. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Um, it's like Nocturne. Nocturne's all. Cool. I'm gonna use my bonus action to mark him with my honey pot. You do that. And then I'm gonna fire two arrows at him. AC 16. 16. Um, 19. These guys can't take a physical fight. Um, so both of those are going to hit. I see what you're doing, Derek. It's very good. It's and okay. I'm excited. I hope it, it, it reflects. No, I, 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 think I, I think I have a, a theory, and uh, we'll see what happens. But these feel like mind flares. 22... Oh, sorry, uh, it's not 22. That's 12 plus 10, so that is 22. So 22 plus... Against... 3. Um, so that's 25. Points of damage? Damn. Yeah. Fucking plus, hard. because it's my turn and I hit, um, I'm going to do an additional... Uh, 1d6 from my bees. So that's 28 points of damage as I let loose two arrows and um, as they hit, the um, the arrows explode in a puff of a pollen. Yeah. And my bees just swarm around and start yeah, 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 yeah. stinging the ever-living shit out of... Uh, Which number? I don't know what his number is. The one behind Barnabas. Oh, uh, that's number five. Number five. How much damage? Uh, 28. 28. That's a big hit. He's gotta be fucking on the cops. Uh, he is indeed... Uh, looking very rough as uh, he seems to prove perhaps uh, allergic to bees and uh, he is, two, two more arrows are sticking out of it. Uh, it, it is uh, not looking good for this particular mind flare, much to your glee uh, it, though you can't see what's going on around you. you you are able to hear the cacophony of insanity around you, Barnabas you're up ah, oh, yeah, you grovel to your superior intellect that is my turn, great you're in here. Um, well, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Oh, well, why? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I'll join him. Uh, no, he's not in there. He's I'm not in there. Uh, this is a good point. So I'm holding concentration on that thing. I'm doing that. And so do I, is there something I can do that's not... You know what? Yeah, I'm going to um, heal, or uh, I'm going to kind of put my hand on myself, and my my hand will sort of glow with the warmth of a campfire, mm. and I will cast Cure Wounds at a second level. Okay. Um, and then I'll roll that later, and then um, I, Old Frog Jones, will make another bite attack. On the uh, illithid that he is restraining, and that is grappling him, and that is grappling him. That is number three. Yep. Uh, so we're gonna do the old advantage advantage room here. Uh, yeah, that okay that hits. Uh, it does. Oh, where did he go? I lost him. Where did he go? Sorry, there he is. Um, it will do. This is pretty freaking good. I love this toad. It's uh, gnawing. Oh. Oh. Six points of piercing damage. Yep. Uh, ten points of uh, poison damage. Yep. And because he hit a bite attack while he was restraining, uh, the target is swallowed. Uh, he then basically chomps and then goes. Mm-hmm. The mind flare gets pulled into his belly. And the target is blinded and restrained, has total cover against attacks and other effects. Uh, and then at the start of each of the toad's turns, he takes 3d6 acid damage. Holy uh, shit. The toad can only have one target swallowed at a time. If the toad dies, a swallowed creature is no longer restrained, and he can escape from the corpse using okay. five feet of movement, exiting prone. Okay. 
I'm going to say that it disappears into the mouth, but you can still see those tentacles wrapped yeah, around out, out of its mouth. Uh, uh, tw- yeah, twitching so and, he's all and, wrapped and, up. And, and, and uh, uh, it's like uh, trying to swallow a live squid. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Uh, that's your turn? Uh, yeah. yeah. Where's yeah. number one? Number one is... He's over here, I believe. Oops. That's two. Uh, oh, and I stand up from being prone. Number one's right next to uh, old Jason Thunderbird. Do you want to put the thing back on him? I, I stood up. Oh, okay. Put that back in the box. Let's not lose things. Yeah, let's With a 60-foot cone, what can he hit in the most optimal way? Number one? Uh, yeah. Let's let's optimize here. Yeah. Uh, he's 30 feet. He's super intelligent, so he's going to yeah, put yeah. himself where he can hit the most. So he's going to think about this, and he's going to think that if he did here... One, two, three, four. If he just goes here, yep. uh, he can levitate over this, right? Yeah, he, he would levitate. Okay. So he's going to levitate over this porthole, and he, he can get all of us. Okay. Uh, I need all of you to make an intelligent saving throw, DC 17. Uh, can I t- double twist? Yeah, I'll double twist. Too. Uh, this is, gonna, this is a bad one. I'm going to roll for, uh, for Scrim here. I might just natural twenty. Fail. Why? Well, I'm stunned, right? No, yeah, it's, but it's a resistance. Strength and dexterity. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What is it? It's just uh, intelligence. So it, what I'm matters more is your ability to avoid it with your mind. You uh, gotta stop using that die, man. I Here. dunked the other one. That was the die that I was using. Uh, I pass. Scrim fails. Taishan's double twisting. I double right. twisted. Okay. Thank oh, you, okay. I got one. Couldn't do it without you. If you one. failed, you take 16 points of psychic damage and you're stunned. Holy shit. Uh, I'm unconscious. <gasps> Queenie drops. Oh my god. Oh. I didn't know you were so wounded. What if you pass? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. You're able to avoid the blast. Yeah, for all force and uh, and sight damage is pretty scary for me. Yeah, it's uh... okay. Uh, and I got his damage uh, control, and then I'll throw a stun on uh, Scrim. Give me uh, number two. Where is he? And we know Queenie is prone and unconscious. And number two. Yep. Number two is right here. Right there. It's right next to you in here. Uh, okay, it's going to attempt to grapple you with its tentacles. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> and it gets a 24 to hit. Yeah. Okay, and so it's going to do... Uh, 10 points of psychic damage, and you are now grappled by this creature. Okay. <clears throat> and that's its turn. Number three. The Where's number three? Uh, number three is, uh... In the belly of the frog. Restrained and blinded. What is happening inside of this frog, (laughs) you can't imagine. Uh, The acid being what it is, its tentacles being what it is, uh, but that it has achieved a grapple allows it to do its secondary uh, uh, attack. It's going to attempt to extract brain. What? It gets a Wait, 21 who? to hit. Oh, you got stunned. Uh, his AC is 11. Oh, it does. Me. It does hit. Uh, this moment, I'm I'm gonna need to get a number of d10s. Yeah. The frog's yeah. like, it's Galamaz, all right, but needs more banana peppers. <laughs> and then he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm thinking here. <laughs> <laughs> I got an itch in the roof of my it's mouth. Uh, 23 yeah, plus. Cool. No you worries. know, the Galamar is good, but. The Galamar. The Galamar is good, but. The Galamar is cool. It needs a little bit of. It needs a little bit of. It needs a little bit of. It does 55 points of. Holy crap. Piercing damage. 
as from the inside, it eats the giant toad's brain out oh and God. consumes oh it. God, it the it sounds, out. it eats it from the inside, I'm telling you. And uh, <laughs> it gets inside of them. It pulls and the brain it out, out from the bottom of the uh, uh, the mouth of the of the giant toad, uh, as presumably killing it. Does it turn into a corpse or does it shoop away? It shoops away and the little stone will land back down. It lands down, right and right having not enjoyed any nutrition, but having used its ability to escape, the uh, the, the Mind Flayer stands tall sure and uh, is now freed from its toad-like prison. Uh, it has consumed, and that will be three. Number four, where's number four? Uh, number four is... All the way behind the here. booty clapper. On the other Over side here. of the booty clap. Yeah, the other side of the booty clappy. <laughs> <laughs> the booty clapped. The other side of one. red cheeks. Oh, yeah, I'm the one. Red cheeks, the other thing. Uh, the booty claps. Oh, yeah, that's so looking at, true. Looking at Barnabas versus Tai Chen, who who looks the most Queenie's injured? Queenie's also on the ground. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, it'd definitely be. I mean, I'm stunned and injured. Well, oh, I'm on the ground groveling. Yeah. My brain's like, mm. See, this turned real quick. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna swing around and it's gonna make the same tentacle attack. This has gotten personal for these creatures. It's no longer using their psionic abilities. It's going to attempt to grapple you, and I believe because you've used your um, uh, reckless uh, attack, it gets an advantage. No, because you ended my. Uh, You're right. You ended my You're turn, right. so I'm not. Yeah. But right. it's still if it's melee, it's still an advantage. Oh, so it'll it'll swing yeah. around. I'll get out. Yeah. Oh, because are you if, if, it's, if it's melee, I'm still, groveling? Oh, actually, am I prone? I think I'm prone. Yeah, so I'm prone. So I'm still. If it's a melee attack, I'm still. You would. You still have still the advantage. advantage. I would still have advantage. Yeah. Okay. Twenty. To hit. Oh Dead. yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Dread. Uh, can you move number four <laughs> adjacent to Barnabas? Yeah, just around the the booty clappy. <laughs> there it is. And you will take the clappy yeah. becomes the clapper. <laughs> uh, you will take with the red cheeks. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh, ten points of psychic damage as it grapples onto you, uh, onto your head. Uh, you are you're you're you are groveling and and it, you are just My starting to break. Drops. You are starting to break from uh, 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 freedom when all of a sudden uh, you realize that. that why were you even doing that? No, why did you accept that command? Oh my gosh, this thing is around my head. Uh, things are starting to look bad very quickly. Taishen, you're up. We'll see about that. Come on. I'll use two trusts. Oh! You're out. 19. There it is. Yes. 19. Let's go. Taishin, everything, re- insanity around you. All the things that have happened, you've oh, had no God. ability to act until now. And finally, 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 you're able to break through your doubts and fears of this situation and take action. I shatter out of my mental prison. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a, a glass case I'm in, of emotion. I'm, gla- I'm in a glass prison of emotions. Um, I don't even know what the situation is around here. Is it? Is this guy actually still prone? Uh, did he stand up after he, he killing the frog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, He's floating above the... Do any of them look like... Three and five are looking the worst. Like very the worst. The others are looking okay. So just do it. In number three, four, just do it. four is uninjured. Just do four it. is uninjured. Um, I, is this one of three or five? This is three. Here? Oh, who's this? This is who, five. Who has the burn mark on them? Uh, five. Mm. Oh, yeah, that one. That's yeah. that's the booty clap E. Yeah. yeah. Fin- booty clap, clap harder, e. baby. Finish this guy off. Take him all the way to Pound Town. <laughs> all right. And he's also uh, tentacling my earlobes. Won't you take me to no, Pound oh. Town? Um, yeah, clap this guy so hard he needs a cigarette. <laughs> or two. No, two is clapping your earlobes. I no longer am interested in talking to them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Taishan is good. Peace was never uh, an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is very much how I feel. Um, I will cast Elemental Burst. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll I'll inhale and my cheeks will kind of expand out uh, and almost like a like a squirrel with a bunch of chestnuts in it, and then I'll slowly exhale my dragon's breath into a sphere, and around it will shape kind of like almost an, encla- an encapsulation of wind uh, as I'll fire out an attempt. I'm just gonna keep using air dice as I fire out an Go attempt to hit. Uh, 
Ooh, yeah, yeah. 16 AC. Wow, I forgot what it's like to roll over eight. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, there's. I don't. Is, I don't have any plus to hit. Is that? Yeah. Right? Wait. What? Elvis burst now. Wait. No. Rain spell attack. Wait. No. He's got to make a, a DC then. He's got to make a saving throw, right? Oh, no spell attack. So you get you get plus seven. Oh. Okay. She's twenty two. Yeah. It just doesn't. It just 22. doesn't say it on the thing. Yeah. Okay. Twenty two. Love it. And then I'm gonna twin spell it. Oh yeah. Let's go. 16. That hits. And That's then, 18. And then, oh, I have plus 7. And then I'm going to quicken spell it and uh, yeah. use it to cast an action as a bonus action. Use my bonus action to also cast Elemental birth, Burst. All at a third level. You can do that. Twist up. I'm gonna twist it. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah this is the only turn. two twists. It's the only turn yeah. I'm ever gonna get. I guarantee it. After all this, this guy's cheeks okay. also expand. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, this one doesn't hit. Okay. Um. All right. So, what does this do? At a did, third did, level? Wait, did you roll three dice? Yeah, yeah. I rolled three dice. And all of them missed. Yeah. It was like eight. The highest one was eight uh, plus. I seven. gave you all these dice oh. to roll your one off. Yeah. Oh. It's all good. I've gotten to do anything at all, so it's a large improvement over where I was <laughs> before. Ty Shen's just happy to bang you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just happy to be invited to the party. Uh, okay, so it'll do. So each one that hits will do four d8. Three of the d8 will be fire damage. To one of the d8 will be so. Two d8s will be like bludgeoning damage, and six d8s will be fire damage. You can roll them all the same. Okay. Go right. oh, for it. This is mine. That's too many d8s. Oh, so many d8s. And to uh, keep this pumping, nine. Let me know when you exceed thirty-one. Uh, it's sixteen. There's like no way you don't. Eh. Right? Uh, might be close. twenty-five. Oh, you Good got thing this. you cast it at a third level. You got this. 34? There it is. 34. It's at that threshold. You're... Uh, my, my goal is to fire the first elemental blast, and then as it lands, if they had attempted to dodge it, they realize that in the shadow of the elemental blast, I had hidden a second elemental blast. Oh, man. And as, as they take the first blast, it comes out from the from just behind it and slams in. <laughs> no one can ever just like when you see anime characters ever again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you can watch two anime characters that day. I throw my wind shuriken yeah, in the shadow. Yeah, it's literally not quoting Naruto. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, mostly Listen. Fire, it's mostly fire damage, right? His robes it, go up. Yeah. And, uh, he crumples to the ground. Right there, uh, the creature that you initially injured, though you will never know that memory, uh, falls away and turns to dust on the ground. <laughs> killed. Ready the twist. So it's not not on the not anywhere on the <laughs> ground. Taking two out already. It's well, gone. He, right? he, he, no, no, no. He, he's he's a corpse on the ground. He's, oh, like, okay. He's not prone, so might as well we just remove his mini. Yeah, just remove his mini. Well, this, this uh, which, dust. Oh. Sorry, I'm stunned. Uh, is dust in in the wind. Uh, DC 17 intelligence. In, okay, yeah, ready, ready the twist. <laughs> ready the twist. <laughs> yep, that's a 14. Twist. So on there, twist twice. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. 20! Oh. So Scrim breaks the stun and is ready to go after that Illidusi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I assume this one is within range from? of me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck it. I'm taking an opportunity attack because I'm going for number Where three. Fuck this guy. Finish him. Um, I'm he's going to. He's used his, he's already oh, used his reaction on a mind warp. You're Illidan. Illidan. You know, Illidan got that Illidan. 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 Um, Two attacks. <laughs> Two attacks with a brutal blade Good. against the Someone, someone just got the Illidan on the He's not, uh, no, no, no advantage for any reason. Still, my scars. Nope. Number three, no slot or anything. Nope. No, no, Dang. he's totally back to normal. 14 plus, uh, Dang. plus eight to hit or plus seven to hit. Yeah, that plus eight to hit. So that's gonna be one attack with the brutal blade hits. Okay. Oh my god, it was a natural 20 and it rolled to a 2. <laughs> so I miss. Uh, yeah, let's twist yeah, it. Come, come on, on, come on, come on. I only need a 19. Let's all, like, let's. Fuck. That's gonna let's be 70 these guys. Okay. Let's um, end these guys. Two hits. Uh, so two hits. One, two. Uh, six. 
Nine uh, oh, plus yeah. five is fourteen. Uh, 14, 15, 16. I can reroll that one. No, no, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24, 24. points of damage with two attacks for the Brutal Blade. That's brutal, is indeed what it is. Uh, this uh, Mind Flayer is hanging on oh, by a thread. Bullshit! I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, well, do I have any kind of bonus action? That's the question. <clears throat> There five I do off. have a bonus action, but I needed to do it first. What was it? Spirit Shroud. Oh. What How does that, that work? So I would call forth spirits mm -hmm. that look very much like menacing hounds, mm. and it's concentration up to one minute, and it adds 1d8 damage to uh, extra damage for each of my attacks. I didn't know it was a bonus action. I thought it was a full action. I'm sorry that you did not use it in yeah. advance. Okay. All right. I passed my turn. That's all I got. Uh, that's the end of your turn. Uh, it's number five. Five, five, is, five dead. is dead. Top of the turn. Nice Queenie, show. you're up. Okay. Uh, everybody needs to close your eyes for the rules. Oh. 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 Uh, unless you're within five feet of her. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, so part of, oh, we're, doing, we're, doing, we're doing death saving throws now. Oh, shit. Down. Okay. All right, uh, everyone may now reveal their eyes, and uh, th that turn having been passed, we are going to go to Barnabas. You're up. I don't have any way to heal. I don't have any we way have to healing heal. potions, don't we? No. God, did, I'm so dumb. Us? We have healing. Yeah, I could, did. We maybe they didn't. Wait, am I being? No, am I being like squid? You're you, you are currently wearing a hat that is made of tentacles. Because Does he look rough at all? Is he like totally fine? What number is it? Uh, two. Two. No, no, no this, this is four. four. This is four. four. Uh, honestly, only three. The one that that is being shanked by Scrim looks rough. All the others are looking. I have of not acceptable stopped quality. shanking this guy since I've been on him. He's the other three bleeding. look fine. Okay. I am going to. Am I grappled? You are grappled. I have an idea. I. I am. <laughs> I see that Queenie is. I. I see Queenie state. Mm -hmm. And I am. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, stop throwing stuff. <laughs> Mind player tentacles. Are I everywhere. look around and uh, I'll call out. Queenie's hurt. She needs help. And I'm going to. Uh, Pat around, I'm like, and I'll be like just like really tense and nervous, and I'll pat around. And I'll pull out my pipe, <laughs> and I'll just blow a massive uh, plume of smoke that gets bigger and bigger, and I'm gonna cast, cast fog. Uh, ooh. Oh. No, I can't cast fog cloud. Material components? No, uh, it's in my blood, but I need oh. the, <laughs> to escape. Fog's in his blood. To escape, I need. To do, I need to use my full action. Correct. I believe that's that's correct. Yes. If it's a classic I escape. Rewind. I am going to uh, look at the uh, the illithid, and I'll say, oh, "No, no, you're the snake, not me." As I'm going to uh, try to like basically rip its face off of my okay. off of me. Okay. That's a I believe a strength uh, contest, right? Yeah, athletics contest even. Oh no, uh, I have an escape DC, so you just have to beat the DC. Oh yeah, athletics or acrobatics. Yep. Oh, and I'm at advantage because I'm still raging because I keep getting fucked. You can get him out of that square. What? Uh, oh, no. athletics. That's going to be over a twenty. Yeah, you, nice. you 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 reach up and you even feel some rippage of the tentacles as you are able to toss the the uh, uh, mind flare away from you. You are no longer grappled. With that, I am going to attempt to uh, say, hey, uh, we'll see you soon." And I'm going to attempt to tackle roll Queenie into the shunt into the room below. Basically, pick up Queenie oh. as I basically roll and just and just dive Attempt into do protection. Yeah, are, I'll are give it to you. Are you sure? Wouldn't that? Are you sure you want to do hurt that, Queenie? As long as you don't land on her, I feel like if you like, I don't know. And that's you a, know that yeah. your ears next. Oh, well, 
<laughs> I, I mean, I love it. Let's I think rewatch. So I mean, I yeah. think you <laughs> should do it. I think it's, yeah. if, if Derek <laughs> says that you can do it without harming Queen Anne, I, I, I think this is a game like of heroic fantasy. Yeah, I think badass. that you would hug and land on your back, and maybe you take some damage, but you also got crab legs. Yeah. I think yeah, that's yeah, so got I'm badass. Gonna, yeah. Fuck. So it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do that because that's what Barnabas is doing. That's what he's thinking, and so I'm gonna grab it. And I'm going to. And in the in the chaos of battle, there is no your near is next. He's yeah. just doing what he thinks yeah. is ne- is That's right. Fair. So you disappear into the porthole. Oh, porthole! Oh God! <laughs> please stop! <laughs> Move yourselves to the bedroom. I can't wait. To whoa! To whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> These two. Bow, bow. Yeah, this is badass. Bow. Bow. I think it's I think it's a sweet action move. Oh, that one. It's the opposite side. Um. I'm here to fix your dishwasher. I don't have a dishwasher. Did you order the left pizza nun beef? (laughs) (laughs) I ordered the all beef. Uh, That's the end of your turn. Barnabas? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nothing else. Uh, uh, Jornier. (laughs) Jornier. (laughs) Jornier. Don't worry, Queenie. <laughs> I'm about to heal you for. Oh no. Uh, ten health, and I'll give you another. Like five temper. Oh, never mind. She's gone. <laughs> it requires sight. <laughs> She's gone. Uh, 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 let's see here. It's like that one time I asked Maya to die just so I could res her. That's amazing. <laughs> like, is that- just want to res you, please let yourself die. Uh, Incredible. Just die. Just die. Actually, I want to res. Actually, I guess. Uh, can I can I run through here? How does how does this work? Uh, running across the tables would be difficult, right? Okay, I can't like squeeze through. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Well, let's say like. Three, four and a half, five and a half, seven, eight. Can I sleep? <laughs> <laughs> do something else. No, you can do that. She's right there, I mean, but he's in the portal. Have line of sight, yeah, you, you look down. All I'm saying feet. is, please don't waste two people's turns on this. Like, the only one that's being damaged right now is the one Scrim's on. Yeah, but I, I can't do a whole lot besides save you. It's okay, you Scrim and I'll handle the four remaining illithid <laughs> by ourselves. So Scrim is screaming covered in illithid blood. <laughs> no, no <laughs> one panics. It's like, it's okay. No one panic. We'll just worry. do all of the work. <laughs> I'm going to take my walking stick and just, like, wave it near the hole so it opens. <laughs> I will cast healing word at a second level. Nice. The word is fuck. <laughs> Can I not accept healing? No, you have to. Uh, and then I'm also going to say Queenie, and one of the the mammoth tusk of runes will glow and give you additional uh, business. Although, how's Tai Shen looking? I don't know. Uh, not not horrible. Not bloodied, but like definitely mind fucked. Dazed and confused. Oh, then yeah. Okay, so I am going to heal you. So you gain five temporary hit points, and you are healed to 11 hit points. Uh, and that's my action and my bonus action. Yeah, I guess uh, How I- many feet down am I? 20. 20. 20. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, no, 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 no it's, it's because uh, chat said, isn't it 50 feet down and healing word is 30? Uh, oh, and uh, uh, you would have taken an additional. Oh, there's 50 from the top um, of the ceiling. Six, six yes, points of bludgeoning damage to you, Barnabas, Barnabas oh, for taking the, uh, uh, the, a few ribs for X as you land. Yeah. Um, and then I'll just spend my last. Uh, I used eight, and I'm going to have 12 total, so I can go like. A little more central here. Okay. Okay. Uh, where's number one? Number oh, one. No, you're num- you're next to number four. 
Number one is I think here. that nearest to Tai Shen is that no, that's number two. That means number one's got to be like I'll this guy. Number one has this to be this guy. Yep. Yeah, this is number one. The one closest to me. Yeah, right here. Yes. Next, close. Also closest to Scrum, unfortunately. It jumps forward. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> Seeing a friend in danger. I want to recap. Or perhaps just having a colony <laughs> hive mind attitude. Uh, it's going to enjoy a twenty to hit. Uh, shield. <laughs> It bounces off of an invisible force field. Uh, no, no, no. It's like uh, it's like when something like uh, it's like when an alien tries to like suction uh, a, a glass window. Yeah. You know, like it's just doing that, but it's like as it, it or like Yodberg, uh, Zoidberg when he's like as it hits, it'll almost see the flash of a spectral hound like make a circle around uh, Scrim for just a brief moment. Of, it's with, strange. It, with uh, yellow eyes uh, glance around, and you actually see it. See this. Uh, that will be its turn. Number two. Where's number two? Uh, over by Taishan. Oh, well, I mean, that's not all those tables. Yeah, I mean... They can float. No, 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 no. I mean, he's in the way. Yeah, but he's standing on the ground. I mean, they're, they're, they're not he's using He's gonna it. get you. You can't um, stop him. It will look at you, Taishan, and... King Totus also in the battle. Um... It reaches out and attempts to infiltrate your mind. I need you to make a intelligence saving throw. I'm taking this one. Yeah. You've got this. Take whatever you want. You've got this. Oh, please. Oh, please. You're super smart. Scrim needs a new Twist it, twist it, twist it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double twist. Man, you were yeah. rolling like yeah. hot garbage twist, right? tonight. Oh! Oh, it's almost. Come on, one what more. Classic. Oh, it's all. <laughs> Come on. Mace, what the fuck did you do? I don't know. Yeah, what evil pack did you make? I don't know. Yeah. I, if I made an evil pack, it would be 20s, okay? And they would just sloop my soul at the end of the night like a normal demon. And I rolled like a nightmare. You rolled, uh, you take 20 points of psychic damage, and you are filled with doubt. Leaving you uh, with only the ability to take a dodge, disengage, or hide action on your next turn. Well... <laughs> Uh, that was two. Wait, uh, was that a spell? No, it's an ability. Oh, son of a bitch. Three if it had used command, it would have been a spell. Three. Uh, where's three? Next to Scrim. He's the one that I've been repeatedly prison shanking and blood is going everywhere. And he basically is too weak oh, to move or do anything. Fucking, he, he should actually just die he's on just his own. Dead, yeah. <laughs> he should give he up for the will to live. He doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Man, make... he's still alive. They have a lot of health. It blows. I mean, yeah, they got a ton of health. Holy shit. I really want your Italian blood to just make be, you, a you just kick uh, him in the ribs. Throw. Prepare. <laughs> Ready the twist. <laughs> 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 it's, it's all been silent up until now. As you hear a voice, stop. Uh, sixteen. It said stop. It said stop, and the DC is seventeen. Uh, we should twist. twist it. We should twist it. We should twist it. Yes, 23. You do not have to stop as it attempts to take uh, com- to I'm, command you. I'm doing this, this and then I go, way. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> four. Where's four? <laughs> four is... The one that the tri- that was trying to fucking turn my brain into squid chow. This guy. Oh. Uh, you know what? Uh, from behind, he attempts to eat you. Oh my god. Uh, he <laughs> absolutely <laughs> grapples you. you that wasn't feel, even intentional, folks. Oh, that no. wasn't even intentional. <laughs> you feel uh, uh, the tentacles oh, wrap around as oh. it la- uh, latches onto your back, uh, almost blinding you, the tentacles uh, being all around your head and face, and you take a certain amount of psychic damage, because psychic is all you You take the psychic do. damage because you're ashamed uh, about how much you enjoy That's going to be it. 13 points of psychic <laughs> damage. 13 points. And you are now grappled. So, six. You're... Resistant I'm contractually you know? obligated yeah. to say, how about them grapples? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. Tai you're up. What can I do? You may take a um, uh, dodge, disengage, or hide action, and that'll be the, your turn. Try to you, hide you can move, uh, though. Uh, try, to move. Hide, try to hide behind the, the piano. <laughs> well, I was going to say, can I hide under the table? Ooh, sure. With all this stuff? Sure. It'll be like Jurassic Park. Yeah. Um, I would say that you would be considered prone underneath yeah, the table. Yeah, I'll, I'll hide under the table. Uh, guys, I don't, I don't think we should be here. Taishan yells out, uh, all of you being in the chaos, um, it's harrowing to hear uh, his words come out in this way. Um, Scrim, you're up. I start by making one attack against Mind Flare 3. 
18 to hit. That hits. That hits. Three. Murder him to death. You know what I mean? Five, ten. He's gone. Is it a humanoid? (laughs) Yeah. Let's fucking go. As as I drive the blade into the uh, the illithid and deliver the final blow, the blade begins to shake and smoke, and from the corpse arises a spectral hound. Oh no! One paw from the other as it pushes out an accursed specter in the form of this hound that has been chasing me, thank you, arises from the illithid's corpse. Uh, it is, it gains plus three temporary hit points, roll initiative for the specter, which has its own turns, it obeys my verbal commands, and it gains a plus five bonus to its attack rolls and remains until the end of my next long rest. Very good. Oh my god. I rolled a natural 20 for its initiative. So 20. So he's next. <laughs> oh, I guess. So we were all 20. We were all 23. So it depends so. on what his initiative is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's the it's the it's creatures. Dex. It's his. So you you got it. You no, know. No, no, no. It it's the specter. So uh, it doesn't say. Yeah, 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 I got you. Does it? If you click on it, does it say? If it's plus four to Dex, it's probably 22, 21. Oh, I didn't know you could do all this. It's going here. That's fine. This helps confirm my theory. Gosh, folks. Specter. Badass. A That's shadowy specter of uh, the creature that you've all heard Scrim describe suddenly emerges from uh, the body what once that was, was uh, this illithid. And I'll use my second attack on uh, this guy here. You turn so around and swipe out. Did you guys find out? It's time, but there, it's plus two to dex, so 22. So 20, oh, so, so, so he's after you in here. Yeah. Um, 17 to hit the other illithid. That, that hits. hits. It's it's sixteen. It's sixteen. One, two, three, four, nine points of damage. Do you want to remove? Uh, and that's my turn. From the board? Uh, nine points to uh, which number? Number one. <clears throat> that's my turn. Good turn. Uh, top of the round, Queenie, you're up. Oh! I am going to you. use <gasps> my rabbit hop to hop fifteen feet onto the. Um, Onto the ladder or thing? Is there? Are there like <laughs> there, 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 <laughs> there are there are footholds and yeah. candles. Yeah, so I'm gonna lo- leap up and then I'm gonna use the oh other my God! 15 movement. <laughs> oh. so obviously we started off front to get out of the hole. Um, Glad and you're then not I'm dead. Fire. You hop on pop on on I'm your I'm gonna fire two Barnabas. arrows at that one that's there in front of me. Yep. Um, and if it didn't already have my bees, it has my bees now because the other one was dead and I can't remember which one I did this on. Um. Um, 19, uh, hits, one of them missed. Yep. Uh, which number are you attacking? Twist up. Uh, I don't know what that one is. If one of your longbow attacks, I would suggest twist if you want to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you miss, twist up, right? No, like, Queenie just was unconscious, so she missed uh, one, that's fine. Okay. That makes sense. What, what, uh, what number is it? The one that's uh, behind you. It's number five. Uh, yeah. No, so no, num- four, four. Number four. four. Um, so it's gonna be three... Uh, so eight, 12, 17 points of damage to number four. 17, okay. Yeah. Uh, the first damage is taken this entire combat. Uh, it takes it. It hurts. It doesn't wow. like, look like it, it enjoys it, but that is where it is at. Uh, that gives us Barnabas. You are at the bottom of a hole. Oh! <gasps> I fell on Ikea furniture. <laughs> <laughs> That's I the, worst, the worst pain that could possibly be. You, uh, uh, 20 feet of movement. Thanks, Mr. Yorn here. And I'm going to step right here. Can you get how much movement do you have if you're prone? Were you prone? Yeah. You we, oh, that's a good point. He landed on his back, uh, so the would have been prone. Let me see. Uh... What's my what's my movement? I thought it was fo- oh it was forty, so I have twenty left. I can get right here. Chuck, chuck some harpoons. <laughs> no, I can do this. And I just lunge forward with reach oh, uh, of my uh, with my anchor to attempt to uh, pierce my friend. 
You just have to give me the number. Uh, first one will be a 21. Hit. I'm going to use a twist. Wait. Hold on. It's a 16 to hit? Yep. It hits. I don't know why I thought. Uh, oh, and that would be a d12, because it has the stats of a lance. Yep. Mm. Oh. So 2d12. Oh, nice. nice. That's uh, 10 plus 14. 24 points of piercing damage. Nice. Against mm. which one? Number uh, four. Number four, yeah. 24? Damn. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. do a good yeah. amount of damage. Yeah. Uh, you, you even push in some of the arrows that uh, <laughs> exacerbate the situation. Exacerbating Queenie's situation. Okay. Uh, that definitely hurt him quite a bit. Uh, that gets us to your near. You're up. The do- the hound is next. Oh, no, no, oh sorry. sorry. I was going to say. You scared um, me. Yeah. <laughs> your near? Go. Uh, go, your near. Go. Go, your near. Go. I'm just excited to see the spectral hound go crazy. Uh, boy. Let me just see. This is going to be. This is a. This is a big deal. Uh, let's just do this again because it's fun. So, uh, well, I guess let's give this a try. So, you will see. Uh. Before I do that, how is Taishan looking? Rough. I'm hiding under a table! Oh, Can really? I see him? Can I see Taishan? Uh, probably. What do you like uh, hide check? I would say, I would say that you could see him. Hide check? Isn't that what you do the hide action, right? Do you have to roll a hide check? That's that you roll a stealth. Yeah, you roll a stealth oh check if you God. take the if you take oh, the hide so action. I, yeah. Contest. Okay. Perception. This is gonna, this is gonna be my I mean, one roll. You're talking to Mr. Perception, so. Yeah, for sure. 13. Uh, what what plus is your it? Stealth, plus your stealth? Uh, yeah, 13 uh, plus your dex. Just my dex. Well, Unless you're proficient in stealth. What's stealth? It's a st- it's a, it's a, oh, 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 16. <laughs> I got a 16. So you I beat. You beat you him. him. Yeah, you attempted to do okay. it, so you yeah, beat him. So I beat it. Uh, so I see him. <laughs> and so. <laughs> what are you please. doing, Tosha? Shen, we need your help! And I will uh, cast a healing word at a second level. Nice. Mm. Um, that is a bonus action. You cannot hide from and the wheel. You are gonna take. Uh, are you brain schlooped right now, Yorn? Uh, seven points of damage. I don't know if he's brain schlooped. Sorry, seven You're points damaging me? This is real. Uh, and Plus then my action, you will see myself Kill. shift into a similar form of a giant toad. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh. And so now I'm I'm bearing down. Uh, I don't know if he would still maintain grapple, but either way, Yornir's brain is now gone. <laughs> out of out of <laughs> but, not, but not in the mind flare way. Well, like I said, because it's silly damage. Uh, okay, Later. The spectral hound yeah. turns into smoke as it passes through me, Whoa. and then also through the mind flare. Turning corporeal again on the other side oh as it makes its attack. God. Yeah. Uh, twenty-three to hit. That hits. It will begin to drain life. <laughs> what? Let's go. Five. Nine. Thirteen. Eighteen points of necrotic damage, and then it has to succeed on a DC ten Constitution saving throw, or its hit point maximum is reduced by the same amount. You got to give me a number. Ten. One, two, or four. Oh, one, two, or four. What? Which one are we... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, one. 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 18, you say? Yeah. 18 may be. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll print, I'll 3D print some bases that have numbers on them. That's a good idea. Ooh, so we yeah. We, we, we need bases. that. Or I, we need, like, some, like, fun, kitschy names, like... Illithid Orange or whatever. Like, I don't know. Uh, I love that we, film. We could have, like, varied them up. In some DC 10? Yep. If it fails, uh, it, it rolled a natural 12. Ah, bummer. Okay, well then it just takes the damage and that's the hound's turn. Okay, it takes that damage. Uh, it's looking rougher for it. Uh, that's number one. Uh, that gets to number one. Um, confusion uh, uh, at, at, at the strange smoke creature that just passed through it uh, doesn't mean that it isn't going to attempt to uh, attack you with its grapple. Sure. Uh, it's going to uh, get a 18 to hit. I use my last spell slot on a shield. It misses. And I am officially out of gas. 
Uh, with this big dog. fucking knife and a big fucking dog. That'll be it. Number number two, point point him out for me. Uh, number two is over by Tyshen. Tyshen, who's hiding? Yeah, he can't see. Number three is gone. <sighs> I was gonna say that. Number two, uh, he, he is hiding, so he's going to attempt to see you. What is your? I rolled sixteen for my hide check. He sees you. He's oh, going well. to attempt to blast you with his psionic energy. <laughs> Poor Tyshun. It's the fucking uh, Jurassic Park where uh, one's a natural the one, name? the other is an eighteen to hit. He's advantaged. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why? Why am I? You are advantaged because I'm prone. Okay, so the first yeah. one is the eighteen I mentioned, yeah, and that does hit. Go for the crit. Just fish for the crit. All right, no, 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 no. I got a one and an, and an eight. Oh, so the the. 18 hits. Am I allowed to do I have actions or can I only I can just only hide? No, I'm just attacking you now. No, I understand. Do, okay. do I have can I take a reaction? Yeah, you can take, yeah, you can take a reaction. I'm not because you did the thing where I can only hide or do something else. Oh, no, no, no. no. That's that's gone. Now you're back in reaction mode and you have agency. Okay. Um so I will uh I will harden my dragon scales. Nice. My golden dragon scales will uh will shimmer and sheen. Under this table, uh, and I'll gain. <laughs> oh, my AC is now nineteen. <laughs> okay. We can't oh. say enough Range good things about so it. The, <laughs> the blast does hit you, but as you are coming back to your senses, you uh, uh, steal, and it crashes against you without issue. But it does get to roll against you again with an additional attack at advantage. Ranged uh, attacks are at disadvantage for prone. Correct. You're right. Yeah. So it should have just been straight. Yes. Yeah, so None so of this happens. So it misses. So he it misses. fires two blasts underneath oh. the table oh, and he misses right. them completely. I thought he was right. so the, the, the first one's You're, just a complete miss. I completely the second agree. one might not have That been. was two. We're three, on three. He's dead. Three's three. dead. Zed's dead, Zed's baby. Dead, baby. Zed's dead. Zed, Zed's dead. Four is four. T- tangling with the toad. Oh. Oh, tangling with the toad? Or Barnabas or Queenie. Are you, gra- am, are you uh, have you grappled me? Yeah, you uh I haven't grappled you, but you have the frog grapple. Mmm. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to do I forgot to do something at the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> frog, um, frog the super number, super number one, the uh sixty foot psionic bro, he is um does seem to be wheel uh winding up for another one of his sixty foot cone blasts. Uh, uh, four <laughs> Damn, you guys are really crushing these guys. There ain't more out of the poop. I wouldn't. This is pretty close. Um, Where did I leave my banjo? <laughs> uh, this isn't the rainbow connection. I love this head scratcher. It's, it's my the silver thing I've <laughs> brain destroyer. Miss <laughs> 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 Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to attack its uh, the thing that's grappling it. I think that he's going to grapple you. And he's, he's very high. He's an agile frog. <laughs> Does a twelve hit? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered that it was eleven. Or am I big toad? And um, my bark skin's actually pretty good. You're going to take those. a you're going to take yeah. a, a fair amount of, of psychic damage. That's going to be two d ten. Uh, that's going to be 18 plus 5 this is going to be 23 psychic damage. Oh, okay. And you're grappled, and that's the end of its turn. 23 psychic demos. Yep. Daishen, mm. okay. now is your time. Dai Shen. Fire good. Dai Shen, mm, this you is now, your destiny. You now, you now know your things. <laughs> I have cold feet. Huh? You, now, you now have full agency again. You're ready okay. to go. Mm. I roll out from under the table. Achieve your destiny. And stand up. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I no longer have doubt. Um, what? Uh, all right, I'll, I'm gonna fire a couple of a couple of hard spells at this guy. Uh, which one's that? Two. That's two, right? I cast cantrip. <laughs> No. <laughs> Sacred flame. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I do really no. Point of damage. Huh? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Do, do you? Um. You do you? I'm gonna cast Scorching Ray. Oh. At a second level. Of the, of the rays, Scorching is best. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is. 
Um, well, oh, what this are the other rays, Derek? This is sickening, sickening, sickening ray. Yeah. Okay. Continue, um, Derek. Is there an ice ray? Frost ray. Free, ray like frost. freezing ray. Oh, ray You're frost, doing yeah. great, Derek. What about the next one? Uh, ray, ray Mund. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everyone hate me? <laughs> Cathode ray. Everybody hates Raymond. Okay, 18, 21, and 20. Oh, Boom. Boom. To Raymond. hit, to hit. Three hits. Oh, <laughs> shit. Three of the blasts. He, he doesn't like it. I, sure. It hurts. I think I got a Raymond. It hurts his body. It hurts his body, what you're doing. How could you? you this is, this seems so to be fun. a human or an elf. Or a, or a dwarf, for some reason, dwarf can't be turned, so... You know, Someone said, don't forget Sugar Ray. Oh, yeah! Yeah, <laughs> Sugar Ray, thank you. I God. just want to fly. <laughs> put your arms put around your arms me, baby, baby. Put, put your arms, arms around, around me, baby. baby. I, just, I have not thought about Sugar Ray. Uh, so I'll time. charge up my, my three orbs of fire, and then... Um, uh, shoot them out. E- each one will uh, land Del Rey? and take uh, thirty-four points of uh, thirty-four. Flame Which damage. one? Uh, two. Jesus. And okay. then uh, fire damage. Rachel Ray. Just. <laughs> That's a double whammy. <laughs> that's a two for, that's a two for one. That would, that would Rachel just... Ray is a twin cat. That's right? a two for one. It's Scattergoy. Rachel she gets two points. I'd, I'd rule it. I'd rule it. They would win Scattergoy. Yeah, that's for the sure. Ray, the, the, I, lo- I like the... the, uh, the I don't really cast. I have a, uh, like a normal use of uh, one level of cure wounds for my golden dragon ability. Okay. So I'm going to cast on Does myself. He, uh, didn't you just use an action Mikey, to, to ray your soul? Oh. the temperature is in here? Yeah. Is it like yes. degrees? Probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe the, it's maybe Slap an action. Oh. I thought it was just a... What is? Scorching ray is an action. Give, give to the metallic dragon? Oh, I don't know. I, is hot. What was it? It is an act. Uh, 75. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know where it... About it. I just want to make sure that what cure you wounds is not an I'm action. I'm pretty sure the features and traits. Cure oh. wounds. You would have to use your action to use. Yeah. It. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cure wounds is an action. Okay. Oops. Well then, let the, me go, see. the dragon feature gives you uh, the reaction and the ability to use an action. Okay. I've, I've gotten tripped up by like the limited action economy of fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I probably don't heal then. Scrimbo. <laughs> uh, two brutal blade attacks. I want this thing dead. Oh, here it is, yeah. Natural fucking 20. Let's oh! Fuck. oh! You know, I was waiting for Derek's twist to dread. And then a miss. <laughs> oh, we're twisting it. Twisting the miss. 17 to hit. So oh, I will roll right. three total attacks, given that I hit one crit. Two. Four. Eight. Damn. Eleven. Fifteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Twenty-four plus ten. Thirty-four points of damage. Again. Answer the question. Number one. Uh, Thirty-four. Thirty-four points of damage. One moment. Let me do the math here, and then I'll answer your question. If. I say that I would just do this as a bonus action. Will you give me the entire next round to figure out how sorcery points work and convert them? <laughs> oh, and just say that I did it on my turn? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it would be a quick, quick and spell. Yeah. All right. Uh, this takes this creature down uh, of quite a few pegs, looking uh, very bloodied. <laughs> okay, that's my whole turn. Uh, Queenie, you're up. Okay, I am going to... Which one just died? None. None. No one died. Uh, number oh, one is. He was taking down, down a peg. Yeah. Really debated us. He yeah. broke my ankles on that one. Scrim was like, ah! His <laughs> <laughs> fucking legs! <laughs> Fuck! Barnabas! I'm gonna move to that weird circular line. thing in the middle of the room. Yeah. Um, Someone move her. The plumbus this thing. Yeah, oh. plumbus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta get on I'm the plumbus. I'm gonna head to the plumbus, um, and then I am going to uh, use, yeah, Rick and Morty. use my bonus action to move my bees to book wielding uh, tentacle face McGillicuddy. Yeah, number two, number one, I think. Uh, no, it's book number two. Is number two. That's number two. Yeah, okay. Um, and then I'm gonna fire wielder. two arrows at him. Love it. Okay. Uh, a natural one. 
and a 25. Okay. So the first one goes into the plumbus. Yeah. <laughs> the second one. You've interrupted our book club! <laughs> Get out of the way, plumbus! <laughs> 15 points of damage. Oh, to what number? Uh, to number two. two I'm, um, I'm on the plumbus, and I'm attacking um, What's the book plumbus? wielding the thing that I'm on, clearly. <laughs> oh. And I'm attacking Tentacle Face McGillicuddy. Can you do that? Thank you. Book wielding Tentacle Face McGillicuddy. And... Barnabas, you're up. I see that he's grappled by a toad. Or no, he's, he's not grappled by a toad yet. No, I haven't grappled him. Okay. If you knock him away from me and breaks the grapple, I'm just give him the business. Just so you know, I don't know if you're the crutcher feet or not. Just give him he the does, business. He does have the I take feet. one step forward after stabbing him. Uh. Okay, let's finish this BC, and I'm going to uh, recklessly uh, attack. Where's my other? I'll use that. I'll use these two. They've been a good. They've been a good team. They were not a good team. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did a double twist. <laughs> Wait, that was definitely a hit. One of those. You like, <laughs> rolled a nine. Oh, nine wood hit. Nine wood hit. That's right. I, I just forget how hot I'm a nine. They were barbarian. not a good team. <laughs> they were not a good team. Well, you have plus eight. Yeah, they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. That so that would, that would have fit. The My nine. math ain't good. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see here. Uh, that'll be a 14 uh, on the first hit. You know what? I'm going in for my crab claws. I'm going to do a little snippy snippy. Are you knocking him away or no? I forgot he's, I could do that. I think he's got to do it on a no critical, meta, right? No meta, no meta. No, 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 when, no it's just, just a if he hits? Attack, if no, no meta, no meta. So no. all I had to do, <laughs> to, once you hit, not you were able to move him five <laughs> feet. <laughs> you know, Mike's doing all my This is how he's going to play a 120 in the morning. It's all good. I forgot. Chat's been yelling at me about spells all night. Okay. What if you cast spells? Yeah. Well, just <laughs> I'm glad I saved them for shield. Like, that was my counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I, can only, I, only I hit with both, both crab claws, dealing 24 points of damage. It's Damn. Onto this guy as I chunk in. Number four. Yeah, number four. 22? Yeah. yeah. It's one, two, four. Number four, I was the only person that hit him up until recently, so. Okay. They're all looking at the yeah, bloody level. Your letter opener. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, your near. Jorner. Jorna. Jorna. So I think because I'm a large creature, if I use my action, I automatically break um, it. Great. But do I want to use my action? You should just. That's oh, because oh, cool. they'll sloop your brain and turn you out of frog. Yeah, no, him him, him still being grappled is a huge problem. Yeah, and so I was like, oh man, thank God Barnabas is here to knock him 10 feet away from me. Rich has never been more disappointed yeah. than all of us. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, no, I hit him once with my anchor, so yeah, I can knock him 10 feet away. Yes, you can. Well, yeah. five feet, right? Or five feet. I can whatever, knock, whatever I, crusher feet. Yeah, I can knock him away. I, 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 your turn has passed. I mean, whatever. There you go. I just want some free points. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Because I was yeah, about to do like fair, 55 fair. damage to him. My favorite. There we go. Which one looks the weakest? <laughs> no, no, I'm not kidding. Probably one. Uh, I'm the, uh, yeah, number one. That's the one that I'm on. The other two look uh, about the same. I wish there was a way to just like jump on top of people. Uh, no, uh, it's the fat chocobo moment in the. Oh yeah, the yeah. yeah. Um, that was always that was fun. I will make a bite attack. Uh, that's gonna be a. Ooh, does that hit? I think I'd like to twist. Mm -hmm. Do it. It's that time of the night. That hits. You yeah, beautiful. Uh, Mister, what's his name? E. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. One D ten. That's pretty funny. Damage. That's pretty funny. Uh, four, five, six points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, five points of poison damage. Mm -hmm. And he's grappled, and while grappled, he's also restrained. Eleven to whom? What's that? Eleven to who? Uh, to number one. Thank you. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. smoke dog. He's advantaged now that he's restrained. He'll bite number one. <laughs> he continues his life draining attacks. Okay, number one is not doing so great. Though. Okay. Uh, you said with advantage, that's 18 to hit. I'm fish for the crit. I don't get it. So I hit uh, 3d6, 4, 5, 10, 15 total points of life drain necrotic damage uh, to number one. 
to number one. 15 points of necrotic damage? Yeah. Okay. Let me just quickly do the math using my uh, own brain and no calculator whatsoever. Mm-hmm. He's still alive. <laughs> so it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> number one is on the edge of death, is what I will say. And he's looking up at you, and uh, there's a fury of uh, rage uh, in his eyes. Um, he clearly is uh, uh, priming some uh, next uh, 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 psionic attack, mm-hmm. and you're, you're bracing yourself to navigate these strange psionic labyrinths that have been hitting you in waves, each of you, all of you, each of you, all of you. And all of a sudden, you see the three remaining living illithid pause and start to... Jerk like this. Uh, the tentacles around their head wrap around their own heads and they fall down to the ground, choking, choking themselves with their own tentacles. They spasm and uh, uh, start to, 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 mm. to, 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 to pull, their eyes gouging out, looking around, looking for some sort of a, 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 a escape when. Black ichor starts to come from the ears and from the eyes. They are pu- pulling and, and twisting around. They are uh, 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 struggling. You, 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 you're almost you're ready to dive in to attack all of you uh, to cast some sort of spell to, to 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 take some sort of action. But you're so shocked by the sudden. Uh, lack of danger uh, as they struggle and squirm on the ground, looking around. Oh. Drowning, drowning, unable to. There's a popping sound, and you hear this uh, uh, disgusting crunch inside the brain as their eyes sink back into their skulls, and they go limp against the ground. Fuck. You're all left in silence. The organ no longer playing. You are all looking at each other, breathing heavy, he- wounded, uh, uh, hurting, uh, 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 knowing that, that this was a life and death situation. You uh, uh, realize that these three illithids are all completely gone. All of them dead. What has happened when a voice reverberates in all five of your of your minds? It was a mistake to delegate command to my thralls. You are no longer in danger. I see that much has happened while I slumbered. May I ask if Manius, his family, their vassals, and some of the others were killed, or if they were simply beyond the reach of my psionic influence? And that's where we'll end tonight's session. (laughs) What? (laughs) 